Luke. I haven't seen yes. Luke. Beautiful morning, yeah. I'm so excited. Freaking Saturday's here. We like to call that run it up day. Uh, run it up today. Another Saturday in paradise. This is how we starting off our weekends, man. Vacuuming. We work hard around here. Early morning cleanup time. Oh, uh, when he comes to town, everything's a ray. We gotta get it right. Big Luke. Luke, Luke. One, two, three, left. You gotta lift with it. I'm doing that this shit every day. <laughs> Alex. What's up, dude? Well, this, this is gonna sell today. 450 static, size 10. It's a good deal. I've been looking for a 10 and a half since they came out. Can't find it, because nah, Dom here, has it. Here. This is a good deal, too. That's brand new, basically. Five. I think that's a good price. They're like 700 brand new. Oh, Gundams, this is steel. 280, 10 and a half, this is a good price. What's the other good steel up here, Dom? 260? Yeah, this is a steel too. That's a good price. Steven got paid. Steven got all three of these. Shut up. You got all three pairs of both. They've done a couple of Nike releases so far. These ones you had to design by yourself in order to check out. A lot of people made crazy pairs. Uh, some people just like impulsively bought an all brown pair, which is like just you don't change anything. Obviously, people are paying low for them since there's so many. But I worked on my pair online for like four minutes, and then like two minutes after I checked out, they were gone. So like depending on how fast you heard about the drop, you just had to go over to Nike and just scramble. Right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a pair of like undefeated Dunks from like 2005, and then um some Bodega New Balances. I saw they have a pair of like, some off-whites, but I don't know, I'm trying to like, <laughs> I got a good collection right now, I'm just trying to save. He called me and said, Neil only got seven pairs. They have more than seven pairs. I'll tell you they have only seven pairs. I said there's only seven people out there. No, you said seven pairs. No, nah, you heard what you wanted to hear because you didn't want to come out there. That's what you heard. You wanted to be lazy, that's why you didn't get the shoe. Bro, why would I tell you that seven pairs, bro? Why would I tell you that? No reason. I wanted you to come out there. Why would I tell you to come out there if they don't have seven pairs? You got it, boss. Your world, I'm just living in it. All I know is I got you. Kept out for the Sakai Blazers. I called them. Uh, I made $400 off the Sure. $400 off Sakai Blazers? No, sir. No, sir. What a shot. Glad you had to witness our morning arguments. A lot of hostility in the morning. Everybody's still waking up. There's always one argument. You seen the background on our computers? It's our founding fathers in all their glory back at 104 West Broad Street. Look how far they've come. Um. No, nah, we do. You can break my heart. I'll make it work for you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, I cop those for like a crazy steal. Yeah. And like they're straight up dead stock. So even though there's like a little bit That's of coloration, all but. Just a few years ago, yeah, that shit really didn't give her anything. No. Nah. Like super popular. After like Travis yeah, Scott. Travis Scott. It. Yeah. Same time. Once right? he wore them, right? they went back up. Um, I was thinking like a grand, just because I've looked at resale. It's like upwards of like, especially that size, like 1800, 1900. But I'm willing to like work. With you, if you had some different. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Okay. Grand's a little too high. Just okay. we gotta find a medium yeah, yeah. to sell them at. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We'll figure something out. Nice yeah, security. I'm a fan, but did, has never watched King of the Hill. Which is, what? See, which is King absurd. King He's coming at your character, man. Yo, I've seen King of the Hill. I'm taking it today, don't worry. Okay, yeah, okay don't worry time, about it. Last time, last look, time, we're yeah. not even gonna talk about that. And it, like, it, even it, when you wear it, you can't even really notice, yeah, you like, can't the notice wrinkle. The so, yeah. yeah. Still a good tee, though. Yeah. Still super clean. You guys heard about that uh, off-white Healy collab? I'm just joking. 
That would be so He's sick. Gonna they would resell. Off, like so off, off white Heelys would for sure go. <laughs> I'll just tell you what my, my mind is on uh, Undefeated. So we'll just get the elephant out the room first. Yeah. Um, a stack is too high for me to pay yet. I would want to at least put them at like 800 brand new. Like, I just know it's a little different for you. So I would like be comfortable paying five for them to put them at 800 and I give you as high as like 325 for your no bad days. So that give you like 825 if you want to yeah. do that. Okay. What is your one on this? Another elephant in the room? I know um, we talked about it last time. Probably like ideally 100, but I could go like 80 and 200. Um, but if you're thinking just make this an even 1k okay you want to do that 1k okay. for this yeah i'll give you a thousand seventy five if you want to do that okay how much for the akira team i'll give you like 80 if you want to do that Ooh. what do you want for the akira i was thinking like 175. you do 150. i like 150. Square. yeah they do have an akira yeah, i'll do 150. Right, we'll do that okay. i mean the total is 11 even 11. yeah and these two yeah. guys would you be willing to budge like six for these? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So you said eleven hundred total. Eleven, even, and then pass on. Pass on these. Yeah, I'll do it. I mean, I think with like the undefeateds, like the big thing is like I could just have them sit and try to sell them online for a higher price, but. I don't know, I knew I wasn't gonna wear them and they're like a cool little display thing and like dunks are really popping right now, but got a good price and both teams are happy, so. Six, cool. Thanks, bro. Dude, that lost Always pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I found it like on Etsy for like 50 bucks. Yeah, it's super sick. But uh, yeah. All right, thanks, Austin. Thanks. Hey, everybody. It's me, Luke Frazier. I'm one of the founders and owners of Round Two. Uh, my business partner, Sean Witherspoon, is in LA right now. My other business partner, Chris Russo, is in Chicago right now, getting the store ready. It'll be open this month. Me, right now, I'm in Richmond, Virginia, at our flagship location, checking on everybody, making sure everyone's good before we open Chicago this month. We're super excited about it. Um, it's been about over a little over six years since we first opened. It's been about three years since I've been living in Virginia, so I'm super excited to be back, see all the staff. Everyone seems super cool, uh, but honestly, like uh, between me and you, like we, me and Austin, the manager of the store, kind of did have an issue last time I was here. This ends here. I always knew it was going to come to this. episode got heated and you know since that time I've really been uh, learning to deal with my emotions in a more constructive way. Well, well, welcome back. Good to see you. How you been? Good man, how you? Come on, bro. I'm so hyped we got these off-white Nikes in man. These shits are clean. Yeah. Uh, girls have the perfect well, picture. Welcome back to Michigan, man. What's up Austin? <laughs> Hey Luke, how are you? You doing alright? Yeah, Great to see you. Uh, last time I was here, things kind of... I don't want to say they got out of hand, because I had it handled, but uh, things got a little weird between me and Austin. Um, it's not that big of a deal, you know, with water under the bridge, we squash the beef. You know, he knows what's good for him, so he... Uh... Yeah, it's uh, water under the dam for me. Yeah. Right under the dam, the water went. We're, we're, we're good. Also, you can post these. I don't really care. You know what, man? I don't care what they said about you. Are you alright with me? I, I, I fuck, what the fuck, I fuck they say about me? I don't know, man. But it's obvious shit. You alright with me? I post it. These on sale today. About that. Shut up. You know I'm joking. Uh, put them at. Wait, you put them at eight? Eight, eight hundred. Yeah, try it. I mean, whatever. It's good to have you. Eight hundred seven hundred. Just look at them. When they when they appear when I come back in February, um, then I'll take them. You know? You like this? 
No, I don't. I think the trash. Oh, it's a good shoot. Finally got oh, air, the air brisk. The 997. <laughs> the no I bad days. Cure for myself, which I'll that wave running. See how we botch? I'm gonna try it on. But this one's way thinner than mine, so. So this one's like I think a little bit older actually. This is probably the 80s, right? This is probably when it came out in '89. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, today we're we're making a movie. It's called uh, How much good stuff can we buy for Luke to steal and take to Chicago and New York? <laughs> I think you saw. Um, we got Crazy Akira. We got Clockwork Orange Tea. Uh, DS Undefeated Dunks, those will all be uh, proudly a part of the grand opening in Chicago. So, you know, we're, we're excited to uh, do our part for entities outside of our own world. <laughs> How about you to be buying the uh, Travis Scott Sixes for? I got two 11s coming. Two 11s coming? Yeah. I think right now I'd want to probably be on those like around 7 ish. Okay. And we'll see where what I may see you. That. I may see you next week. Cool. Uh, I, me and my wife on sneakers out there. <laughs> Amazing. She always hits. I, I, I'm useless. She's the best. She's like, I think I got the wrong thing because I got them. I'm like, let me see. She's like, is this them? I'm like, yeah, that's them. Good Friday. Good Friday. Caught the L on that. <laughs> no, no luck on that at all. I haven't had any luck in probably a year. <laughs> It's been really nice having Luke back in town. It's very nostalgic, just like the good old days. Drama in the shop, I stay out of it. You don't, you don't ever catch me in it. I'm a, I'm a behind the scenes guy. I, uh, I came down here to check on everybody, make sure everything's straight before we open Chicago later this month. That, that's probably pretty soon now, right? Yeah, the 26th we're supposed to open. Those are cool shoes. What are those? They're, um, they're DC uh, legacies. They're, um, um, they're kind of hard to find. Oss has been a really good manager lately. You know, he's been for some reason obsessed with these DCs. That seems like the only thing he ever talks about or posts about on his Instagram. We work at round two, and the only thing this man wears is DC shoes. I don't know, man. Well, you, wear, you can basically wear my size, right? Like a little bit bigger? Oh, just a little bit bigger. You could, um, I don't know, you can maybe make it work. Yeah, yeah, let me get those. You want these? Yeah, let me get that pair. I'll give you 60 bucks right now. I don't know, man. I'm, um, I'm not really too pressed on selling them for real, dude. Anyone who knows me knows that once I have my eyes set on something, I'm gonna try to make a deal, and I'm gonna make that deal. And if you don't wanna make a deal, I'm gonna make a big deal about it. Oh, uh, I mean, thanks, but I'm not gonna sell them. How much, like, that 60 cent, whatever, just like, how much money? I mean, if you're gonna be like that, I'll take $100 for them. Dude, what, for DCs, you're wildin'. I'll give you 60 bucks. Yo, I mean, like, I've said it like three times now, like, what is your deal? No, Austin, what's your deal? Deal, deal, deal. I mean, like, you're really gonna be like this man, like, just take take the shoes, dude. You clearly right, want them more cool. than me. I'll just, I'll I work do. in my socks. Thank you. Yeah, dude, like, perfect. What's up with him, man? I don't know, man. I tried to pay him. I know, they're just DCs. I know. Oh, nine space jams. Let's see if they're icy or they're pissy. Eh, they mediocre. Not that bad. Just Don Twos, OG wrapping, OG dust bag, OG hat, OG pen, all of this stuff. Everything over here is good. 2013. Yeah. So inside the diamond cut and the pattern of, I mean, the pattern of the diamond cut and the blue tells you the years, not the box. Back when Jay Z made ones cool, these are really something. Oh, he brought the regular mirrors in. I don't know. These are clean. They're actually dead soccer. They're not peeling. They're, they're not peeling at all. This is a good pair. Oh, it's a good shoe, but is it is it fresh enough? Oh. Oswego's are a good shoe. <laughs> good silhouette. Black and web. This pair is crazy. They're like neoprene toe. Like really light, like rubbery material. True blue, size 10. So there's a lot of good stuff. Um, some stuff had some wear flaws, which like may or may not show up on the camera. So it seems like I'm lowballing, I'm not. A couple things are kind of beat, but um, there's a lot of good stuff. 
Ref Simmons, um, some Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, a pair of taxis. I'd say the best shoe is probably the uh, the 09 Jams. They're actually really clean too, so. Oh, it's not gonna look at his clothes too. I forget how, how much stuff the homie brought through this morning. You mean the shark hoodie? That is very clean. People love spell outs. Spell out. People love camo. That is the way of the world. Just a couple more things. Gucci Polo, a uh, Bay hoodie, and a Supreme Champion. Everything right here, I was at $25.50 cash or like $2,700 store credit. The beginning of a wonderful day. Except for Luke just took all the uh, hard work and sent it to Chicago. I'll take these jams, I'll take those 350s. Oh. And then what are the, what threes are these? Yeah, yeah. man, I want to get these 12s, man. Yeah, they're one of my favorite 12s, uh, 11s and 8s. Yeah, I got an 8 pair, 8s yeah. on now. Yeah. Right. 220. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Alright, y'all, y'all take it easy. Picked up the rafts, some 40. Put those there. Real ones, can't go wrong with the ones. Best colorway there is. Traded in the uh, Moon Landing 90s. Get some short credit, pay the difference. Uh, no, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, just a visitor for work. Just so checking it out, coming in, saying what's up to everybody. Uh, I actually just moved to Richmond from outside Philadelphia. There's a wiener spoon on the leg. There's a wiener spoon on the leg. I got that for Air Max Day. Look what Cleve brought. Hey everybody, this is Cleveland talking to you, the one and only, signing off, baby. <laughs> ICP, anyone? Juggalo stuff? These are big in the ICP community. Did you get one off? Yeah, I got one. I got one from. Okay. Did I bat two minutes? No, you bought the perfect amount. Oh, Cleve can do no wrong. Covered in Fago. <laughs> Pushing out into the James and there's Furby on the James. Yeah. James. Speaking of uh, pushing someone out onto the James. Jordan 18. Oh, they clean. Come on. It's 105 okay. 30. Come on, Jack. Okay. Long story short, guys, please get the for a good deal. He bought us pizza today. He buys drinks every other day. The one and only. You know anything about the Richmond store? It's so clean. Crenshaw Skate Club for round two. Very fire. Now that it's in, I'm gonna grab it. It's in my size. Okay, yeah. These are probably like the hardest hair bands I've ever seen. I want to get them. I'm thinking, should I sell my Travis Scott's to get them? Because I really want them. So. Broad Street, West Broad Street to be exact. Richmond, Virginia. 23220. Uh, we're walking from the old, from the current store, which is 202, which was the first gallery to 104, which is the original store, and it's a different little store now. I hope he lets us in, um, or lets us film in there. I'm sure he'll let us fucking inside. Yeah, <laughs> definitely memories. Learned a lot. Yeah, it was fun. Um, so yeah, it's right here. I know, it's yeah, so, it's crazy, so, it? it seems so much bigger than how it was when we had it. It was like, it seemed so small we had it. I think we had it kind of too cluttered. Well, that's stuff. what I thought like when I came and looked at the spot, I was like, is there any space in here? Like, yeah. it, like the shoes yeah, the were shoes, still the alive, walls, you know? Like everywhere, yeah. yeah. So we had like what, uh, racks, racks, the shoe wall back there, the couch in the back, and then the two counters that made like a L, if you remember. And then you can, I'm sure you can reference some footage that this is a rare dead stock. Yeah. yeah, you never see dead stock. Did you get them or what, Quinn? Is this all of it? Nope. There's more too. Oh, Everybody else got them? Everybody else got them. Really? So uh, so what'd you do last night? How you feeling this morning, Quinn? Um, so I didn't get any free shots last night. Yeah, what's good, Quincy? What's up? You didn't buy us shots last night. Shut up, shut up, shut up. The shoe wall was here, like right here. 
Like, it'll be cold during all this heat. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's still some stickers I know. hanging out <laughs> back here. Yeah, he's the fucking man. What? He bought us this? Yeah. We no. Know he bought us two of them. Yo, 1990 Super Soaker? Yeah. It's gonna dude. get so real this fucking summer. I oh know, my dude. god, yo. <laughs> we got another Super Soaker under the rack. I know, and we have two It's of in there! Yeah. And somebody's key. Really? <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, that key. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, I don't know. Who knows who's there? Yeah. Some Nissan. It's probably customers from back in the day. Yeah, so we're called Little Nomad. We are a modern uh, modern lifestyle shop for, for kids. We're, we definitely want to have like an inclusive environment here as well. That's super important to us. It and looks great in here. Like, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Really it really looks good. Yeah. Yeah, we just like bought like a bunch of bricks and cinder blocks and like cemented them together because we didn't have any money and didn't know what we were doing. It was pretty cool to have kind of that lineage yeah. to come behind. I think it kind of says something about the area. Um, you know, people kind of stepping their game up. I think y'all had a big deal to do with that. For sure. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's an awesome spot. It's a really cool spot to be in. It's like, what was your name? Anthony. Luke, I'm mean, gonna have before, but. Yeah, yeah, good to see you again. Good to see you, Anthony. It's going good, we're busy. A lot of people coming in, buying, selling, trading. What you're supposed to do here. Uh, it's been a good day so far. Hopefully gonna see a lot more foot traffic. I'm trying to cash out today. That's every day. I'm actually just trying to get my money up to get them Travis's, man. The Travis Sixes? Yeah. Yeah. Facts, man. That's when that's when all everybody's page today. Like everybody want Travis Sixes. Yeah, yeah. It's a good shoot. But only thing I gotta say is a couple months ago wasn't nobody wearing Jordan Sixes. Yep. Do you agree? I know it is. It's a fact of. <laughs> you just want it all cash? Nice Mary T. First studio album. Another nice T. Very simple, clean, side graph. All off white. MCA. And the last but not least, the T to match. I caught them when the site dropped it the first day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, by the way, man, it's your boy, The Kicks 100 Kicks, man. Catch me on IG, YouTube, The Kicks 100 Kicks, you heard? For real, for real. Catch him there, because he got some good reviews. He a trip, though. <laughs> he do all his reviews inside of a metro piece of this. What did you want for everything? Talk to me. I'm talking to you. No, yeah, mess with you, man. Talk to me, what's your saying? MCA stuff is cool, it wouldn't be nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. It'll be around like 625 for everything. 625 for 625. you? Yeah, 625. Pyrex and all? Yes, Pyrex and all. And I have one right there too. So. That's, that's a bit. And I'll never say ever, 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 ever. Say I, do I was going for six. <laughs> <laughs> fake pair of Travis ones. They're getting good with the fakes, but these are not, not real. I'm gonna get my money back though. I know where the guy lives, so. Mind if I peep? Yeah, man. Oh yeah, I can tell right away. <laughs> so it is. I'm gonna get my 500 back and buy those fours that y'all have, seven and a half. Hell yeah. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, it's a shame. Shit, no shit. The, so the brown, just like looking at the brown suede, it's a little too dark. Um, Shoelaces are kind of puffy for like this particular release. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see like the tumble leather, the texture's a little odd as Anything well. Anything look good on it though? The swoosh. Like, um, like red on. <laughs> I mean, the lettering? The, the, like, <laughs> the, tongue, the tongue tab doesn't look bad. The overall like height of the shoe looks okay, but like even down to like the stamp in the heel and the uh, the outsole texture, I'm not. Um, yeah, you're like. Yeah, Damn. I'm not feeling them. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty easy. Pretty easy legit check, honestly. Uh, yeah. These are size seven, but I want the seven and a half. That stock pair, good overall shoe, you know. Goes with anything because they're black. Yo, look who's back! Back here for the first time in quite some time. I don't know how long has it been. We we're just trying to decide that. It's when was the last time? It's been a while. It's been a while. Now we're here. Um, Gavin's playing football for Randolph Megan now, so I came to watch his game. We killed it. Saw some punts. Saw some. Uh, some kickoffs, yep. you know, it was all good. It was killer. Saw some 50 yarders go down. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, <laughs> man. We're back, man. Let's go. I don't know if we can include it or not, but when we find out, I'll like, what is it? It's my new shoe with Asics. No one in the world's seen him yet, and no one in the world even knows that I'm working with Asics.
This is the definition yeah, of an exclusive. So wait, do they come like this? Or you gotta take it off. You gotta take it off. I'll show you how it comes. They're really yeah. good. Do you like the uh, the cord? Oh, yeah, I do actually. The purple's cool. Yeah. I like this a lot. The three tone. The three tone. Yeah. They never really done that, dude. You know what I mean? I like the like the lack of three M on them because I think everyone puts three M on their fucking. Everyone gel does light. like, dude. They all do three M leather, and then there's like a few things like every gel light has. What up, Dame? And I was just like, man, I gotta like really break this. Mold. Yeah, no, these turned out really well. Cause I feel like this isn't typical for Asics, you know, like an all corduroy. Yeah, no, I think it's, they're tight. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Oh, Hell yeah, dog. I'm excited. Have a, have a nice please, please, we already, yeah. we already got scavengers. Like, <laughs> You're right. Like, you don't even want to hear like, that. You know, I really don't. Every that time was, we. Hear Bro. They don't even want us to combine where every time you no, look or like, Chris comes here, we're like, wow, you guys have a lot of nice shit. Yeah, Let me take it all know. with me to my store. A whole yeah. regular busy Saturday becomes a whole shipping day. Yo, and straight up, <laughs> shout out East Coast. Like, come shop this fucking store because, like, that's not even a joke. I, I like, walked in here, like, 10 feet, and I'm like, damn, I want to take all this to L.A. so it'll sell in 13 seconds. Dude, like, how long did these last in L.A.? 14.1 seconds. Yeah, it's crazy. I was gonna steal everything. We already ran out. I should have gave us some. Trucks. I'm pretty sure this shoe is gonna go for a shit ton of money. Graham, I'm so happy you're documenting this. Oh, so yeah. mark my word. Yo. Yo, that's what I've been saying. Dude, I've this, been this, saying looks like this. A, this looks like a Travis Scott shoe, right? It wow. does. Like the colorway, the material. This is such a Travis shoe, and it's a women's shoe, which means people are sleeping on it, which means there's not a lot of men's sizes. So when the dudes figure out how dope this shoe is, and check this. Travis hasn't worn them yet, but he will. I guarantee it, okay? Then everyone's gonna want them. It's gonna be $400. There's not a lot of men's sizes, and the women's 12s and 13s are gonna skyrocket. Seen it happen. Like if this had the Cactus Jack on here, I know you guys can picture it on there. Fire. Do you guys like these? Fire. Oh, it's like one of those like weird yeah. Mm -hmm. Just how you wear them? Yeah. How do you really wear them? It's like a fucking like detective thing. Yeah, that's how you wear it? Mm -hmm. You should put it on the other way so the thing's in the back. I feel like a complete douche. It's because it's called fashion. I could never do this in my life. I feel like the biggest dumbass alive. <laughs> do I look like I want to be out of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. Chicago? Chicago! Just getting yeah, I dude. I'm fucking stoked, man. Got what like two weeks? I'm hyped. Our biggest store yet. Three and one. This is not mine. Just so you know. What are they drinking over here, dude? I like looked at, like somewhere. I think I was in the kitchen. I looked and there was like thirteen fagos and then like these fucking. Oh, Fort Cleveland keeps bringing them. And then these like said. fourteen cent drinks, like. Dude, we need to get them on a fucking diet. No, it's Cleveland. Is it Your Cleveland? boy said he keeps bringing them food. So I'll tell you what I want to do with this space. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, are we taking a picture? I want to extend the rack floor all the way to the park so it's one floor. Okay. We should have a single rack of like round two merger, yeah. like regular stuff. Because like when I was getting this shit back then, it was like, no one cared. Dude. Yeah. It was like a few bucks. Like, just, you'd find a Jordan lot of like 160 items on eBay. And like just, $25. Like, <laughs> no, it'd be like 200 You know what I mean? But it'd be like the you know, equivalent of like three bucks an item. Yeah. I love the posters, dude. So the stop tying your shoes. It's got the salvage denim on. I love that. This is crazy. Nice. Bro, these are, this Chicago. Is on the way. All to Chi Town. Chi Town, what up? We got Luke, Sean, back in BA, probably for the first time together since like. Did you see it? 2014. There? 2014. Thanks, Luke, for the, um, for the fill in there. And, uh, Really missing Chris Russo right now, man. For Russo. Fun things for them to do in South Beach when Graham goes there to film. Chris is going to be the uh, liaison for that store. So we're just thinking of good ideas. We had a good one. Or Luke had a good one. I don't know if it's good. Yeah. Yo, Chris. Yeah, you're here being filmed, okay? Uh, great. So we, uh, we're trying to think of some activities since um, we're doing acti like fun activities in each store that's being filmed at. Since Luke was going to do the South Beach store, you want to just take over what he was going to do? Yeah. What was Luke going to do at the South Beach store? I was going to wrestle an alligator. Mm, yeah, I'm down. You would do that? I knew he would. Yes. You should. That'd be All right. tight. Right now, it's final. Who else would wrestle an alligator from that store? Manny would. Manny. Manny. He might Miami Manny would, yeah. I don't trust him to not kill the alligator. Two so far, our stuff. True. 
Man. You're, you're down though? Wow, okay. All right, this is sick. dope. Fire. Okay, sick. That's it, dude. We're yeah. just curious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we think that, you know, it'll probably lead to more, you know? Injury? We don't know. Peace. He's all like, what is this motherfucker talking about? So, we don't even know this is going to happen because Luke has <laughs> only dreamed of it. Dude, <laughs> Florida, like, you can wrestle now. You know? Dippin'? Yeah. Peace, yo. Ah, uh, good to see you. Oh, yeah, dude. Have a good night. Nice backpack. Thank you. Are you? We out. See you in LA and Chicago. And I'm excited to see Chris wrestle alligator. I'm be honest. I hope he really does it, dude. Yo, Biz. Peace. Peace, yeah. See you guys. Did you film Biggin's shirt yet? This is where I turn the mic over to Biggin's, who will let you know about this amazing one of one t shirt that he's wearing. Um, wearing a t shirt or a shirt I made out of bed sheets that I got one of the homies up the street to make for me. Uh, just thought it would be cool. Try to repurpose it and uh, use it for something that I'll actually wear or use in my bed sheets. <laughs> Why do we have these big ass garbage bags? These are for like, you know, in the fall, you know how we used to like break up leaves? That's what these are for. Leave them outside the house. Yeah, Austin just keeps buying them. Yeah, he's the only person who buys trash bags like this. I don't even know why he gets the size hey. wrong. Are you leaving tonight? Uh, yeah, I leave tomorrow morning, but I gotta like space you tonight. Oh, Alright. Yeah, well, 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 I'll see you, you next there. time you're around in Richmond. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Austin, I'll for see you. you. Alright, I'm oh, out of here. Let y'all out. Um, Luke, is this straight up a holler at you? Like, yeah. That's cool. Alright, later. Later, dude. Um, you want to Yeah, yeah. Can you help me with that stuff? Yeah, I got you. And then this one too, right? off, Luke. I always want to make the YouTube, man. to Miami, straight from New York, you right? Yeah. In the morning. You gave me the weirdest handshake. I'm sorry. It's popping, G-Money. How you feeling? Oh, boy, there's a boy. Oh, that nice little take there, man. Yeah, 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 because 
Throughout the day, you want it. That's nasty right there. For all you round two copycats that want to know how to un squeak your rack, wax paper. They don't got a, a system like you do. They don't have a system. They don't got APT like you do. Yo, make sure y'all all clocked in, please. They forget. And looks like, hey, make sure they're clocking in and out for their breaks. Oh, I'm tripping, tripping. He signed it on the wrong day. Oh. <laughs> Yo, if your hours are messed up, do not tell me nothing. Yo, you right. This nigga ain't even signed in. He a dumbass. Bro, yo, full name, bro. Wrong. Yo, full name. Who you think you is? Think you Seal? Think you McGlovin? What name? What name? What name? <laughs> My mom is the most common name in the world. <laughs> Damn it, full group. Early bird catches the worm. It's my guy E-Man right there. It's the guy right there. It's a good hair. Leaving the sneaker con in Atlanta tomorrow, but wanted to take a stop at the local round two, man. Wanted to see what I could get, man. Um, good friends with the people in the store. Come by like two, three times a week. Great environment. Love doing trade-ins and cash outs with them. It's the best. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down. Always laying down. Never laying down. I gotta get my mind right another way. Oh, okay. You know, I heard that. I heard that dinging noise. You know what I'm saying? We think it's someone trying to break free. We think it's someone trying to break free. Someone's trapped. We've been going on it like that for a couple of months now. I done met the voodoo. Graham, play me right here on the. Play me on the Connect Four. Yeah, I be playing my girl or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep the connection strong. I be spanking her most of the time, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, man, we're renting a minivan. I actually gotta leave here and go pick it up and gotta go get as much sleep in as I can, and then we're leaving at like 12 o'clock at night. Man, this is, I'm not gonna lie, I usually cook every single release. Travis Scott Six's first release of the year that I was not able to touch a single pair for retail, man. I was heartbroken. Um, it sucked, but we bounced back. It's got to had to cash out a couple pairs and just wait on the bounce back. So I'll hold off on these pairs right here just because the satins is like a little slow right now. I'll take the cloud whites. How much did you want on the cloud whites? Um, I needed 260 on each one. Fine. It was 450 each one. I can do 420. Can meet at 430. That's fine. So let me add this up. So it's 1990. Perfect. Um, so he took all the Yeezys and he took the off whites. Pretty happy with the trip, man. Took half my stuff, so call it a successful morning. Yeah, I wanted to go out, cash out before the event, pull up with cash. It's always good so you could cop a few steals when you get up there and hopefully bring them back down here again. <laughs> Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. Always a good day. You got the price of mine that you want it for me? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna draw um, for the size 11 and a half, it's just a bigger size, so it's a little bit harder to move. Um, I'll probably be like around 550 cash, like 625 store credit. Okay, 650 cash. I wouldn't be able to do 650. I can meet you somewhere in the middle, like at 575 or something like that. Um, that's cool. Appreciate you. I'll be right back, right? One, two, three, four, five, four hundred. One, two, three, four, five, five hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for stopping by, all right? Take care. How much are for size nine? Size nine? Um, I can bring it tomorrow. I'll say just bring them back tomorrow just because the price is fluctuating up and down. Yeah, so I don't want to give you the wrong price and then, you know what I'm saying? So just come by. I'll be here tomorrow, all right? My name is Vic. You too. Y'all, boys. Good. Chill. Yeah, man, you know what we got. Bring some stuff in, cleaning out my closet, man. You already know. Yeah, condition. Oh. Yes, sir. Tell them, yeah, Supreme AP. Yeah, Supreme AP. 
A uh, spray ground, limited edition, only like 50 made. Yeah, I be on my shit. Yeah, the black on black V-Long, you can't find that nowhere. <laughs> I, I, I make music, so same kid, check me out, you feel me? So, come in with my boys, and if I'm tired of an old item, and, and it's always good, because it has its value, so I advise this to, to any artist. I know many artists that get rid of their old clothes, and fuck with it in the closet to make more room, so. On these, I can give you like, 175 store credit. So it'll be 1125 store credit. So you mean 650 cash or 1125 store yeah, credit? Let me get it. So you want the cash on this? Cash on this no and problem. then store credit on this store. Okay. okay, no problem. So then you have 375 store credit. All right, right? I'm gonna get your cash right now, all right? All right, for sure. Got my riches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bored. That's why I really gave him. Nah, this shit's hard, it's bro. Fire. Yeah, these shit's fire. Let me get these hoes. <laughs> I ain't even gonna play. Yeah, so you got to do the collection. Oh, 375 stuff right there. Oh, 375, so I got $25 yeah, left. Five more if you wanna get like some accessories or something like that. Yeah, we'll get some accessories. I had to get real weary. Weirdo. Bye bye, farewell. Thank you, bro. You have a good day, all right? See y'all soon, bro. Shout out, shout out to Big Cav, Big Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Miami vibes. Hold them vibes. Yo, summer in October. Miami vibes, come on. What you guys got for me today, huh? Some Chicago. Can't try to spend 10 racks easy here, right? Maybe some Chicago ones. But these glasses, he's trying to spend 50. Yo, that's a steal. 300 bucks? Wow. Miami, South Beach. Then, you know, Supreme Fox Racing collab. It's pretty cool because of the embroidery in the back. It's quite nice, and they did this pretty cool. Did like a Pepsi vibe on the back. Uh, London, so always uh, come through New York, LA, Miami, you know, get some good deals from round two, you know. Thanks a lot, have a good day, guys. Told you I was gonna make it happen. Another of the trap. Down for 600, very, very, very fair price. You know, the market's really like settling down right now, so 600 is a good, good price. They go in the dark. Let's go check it out. See how well this thing glows. The glow, and it's pretty responsive. It doesn't take too long, which is pretty cool. It's a beautiful shoe right there. That is a beautiful shoe. Butters. Brand new, you feel me? And we got another pair of the butters, you feel me? What? You looking for cash or store credit? Cash. It'd be 150 cash or 175 store credit on the used ones. On the brand new ones, it'd be uh, 200 cash, 230 store credit. Um, and on these, these would be uh, 220 cash, 250 store credit. All right. So. I'm gonna keep the shoes. Okay. But I want the kids watch right there. All right, no problem. It's all good, you know. They gotta make their money, I get it. But I need that kids watch. It's a kid G-Shock collab that they did. Pretty cool, nice little box. What? Get out of here, bro. Right to the wrist, bro. Ooh. Oh my shoes. God. You fuck with these? Thanks, bro. It already has the time correct and everything. Thanks, <laughs> round two. Lil Savvy King, bro. I brought in some Carmine Sixes, 14s, white off white one, uh, Prestos, and the Siaga shirt there, and then this big sweater I ain't even wear because it's so goddamn hot in Miami, I can't even do it. Actually, when I first bought my camera, like my first DSLR, this is 2010. I sold about four pairs of my Jordans that I really liked, and I said, you know what, man, I'm gonna sell these shoes, and I'm gonna just buy a camera and just see how this shit goes. And then I ended up doing very well in what I do, and I bought all those shoes right back. <laughs> and now I'm in here selling these to get more stuff. You know, Chris, Chris Smokes gave me these four or five years ago, and I was a size nine and a half, so these are nine and a half, and I'm a ten and a half now, so these don't fit me anymore, so. Yeah, Chris, if you're seeing this, I got secured a bag. <laughs> so we got the babe shorts, the rude t-shirt, the supreme denim jacket, and the, oh, we've got the rude pants. Right Don't, ask Don't ask me. Crazy. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> I always bring my own bag. I'm with the bear. 
Yeah, boys, later on, all right? Peace, boys. This says 1985, right? Yeah, yeah. You can tell by the screen starts tag. Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, so I'll be interested in these two right here. Okay. Um, for the Marlins, going to be 10 cash, 15 store credit. On this one, it'll be 20 cash, 25 store credit. Let me get the cash. No problem. Please. So it'll be 30 cash, right? Yeah. Yes. Hold up on these. Appreciate it. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I got it at a thrift store. That's my passion, man. Yeah. Street dot wears and tears. You can pretty much say all my life, man. My mom used to work at a thrift store. So everything that I used to get coming in high school, man, I was, I was dressing in like vintage stuff, man. And these guys, these guys are like my heroes. I look up to these guys. They, I seen them on the YouTube and, um, and then when they came down here, it was just like perfect, man. Like, but yeah, look at that. Round two, man. Peace. Oh, came from uh, being a customer to, you know, end up being here. Thank, thanks to, um, thanks to Vic over there. Appreciate Vic for that. Yo, I should have left him as a customer. Yeah. Would have worked out better. Would have worked out way better. We've been taking all his money. Now we gotta give him. He money. did used to come in here a lot. I remember. Now we gotta give him money instead of us getting money from him. We give him money. But that was the point of me being a customer. I would come here and oh and get money. Oh my god! He <laughs> I would nest us. I would be finessing us. I'm not gonna lie. He does. No, I would come here, get money. Yeah. Spend some money. Yo, you're fired. <laughs> Security, take him out. He's fired. You're not allowed on the premises. <laughs> But I, I don't know my strength, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, All right, come back inside, but get back to work, bro. You got you gotta Uncle Phil here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out. Yeah, it's been crazy. It's cool to see everyone here. Because I'm from, I'm originally from Texas. So it's cool to see everyone here. No. Are you looking for uh, cash or store credit? Either or. Okay. Uh, the bins. I would say like three times a week, I find like a banger but I have to be there in like seven days a week. That ice cube tea, ice cube tea is hard. Uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. Follow my Instagram, Cloudback Vintage. All right, in uh, store credit, this one would be 40. Okay. These would be 30 each. These would be 100 each. And then this guy was 150. All right, so I'm gonna look around. Okay, okay. so you have 350 plus 60, that's 410. You have 450 credit. The next little messed up, but. I got a question. Has the predator on the back. This one's crazy. Hell yeah. A pair of Wave Runners. Really decent price. 280. It's not bad. I think I paid five, 550 back when they re released the first time. But I kept them for. You used them for a while. Oh yeah. They've yeah. seen somewhere, but they look really good. They look great. Uh, not here, but I'm gonna go over next door, see what we can find. No idea, they just brought them over from across the street. Uh, somebody must have unloaded all their Nike swishy gear. Cause we got jackets, we got mad pants, bootlegs, reels, we got it all. It's a little hot out today. Make sure you drink your water. Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated. That's all I gotta say. You working hard on this side. Oh, trying to picture something for the gram. Yeah, yeah cat and hat, you know. Uh, 40. Not too crazy. Good graphic, good colors. Uh, yeah. Just so, uh, Elton John T and the Eagles. And we're looking for the uh, Stone Temple Pilots from 97. Might have been a couple weeks ago, so it might not still be here, but we'll see. I mean, that's the t-shirt right there I'm really looking for. Would it be alright if I tried this one on a t-shirt? Of course! This is like a grail for me. This was priced at 400 oh though, so God. it's a little... It's pretty tiny. What's, ta what's it tag? It's a large. Oh yeah, yeah, I could try this. Yeah. Yeah. So I could add those in the fitting room for you, okay? Perfect. Yeah, no problem. thank you. I love this type of shit. And then there are so many Star Wars graphic tees that I want. But I have a budget, two hundred dollar budget. I don't even like. I'm not like. I don't care for Disney, but it's fucking. It's reversible too. This is this is top. This is top. Shit. I realize I have too many black shirts, so I got something to trade in. Hopefully, dope Rob Zombie print on the front. 
on the back. 100% hardcore flesh eating, blood drinking, life sucking zombie mother. You can read the rest. <laughs> Walking the streets, seeing some t-shirts, and I like the oversized things, so I get in back and buy one. This one, pretty cool. Run two, my second life, run two. <laughs> Little bandana. That's shit crazy. He looks like he's about to kill someone. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Have a good day, all right? Enjoy. All right, my guys. Got that one also. Yeah. People love that Hurricane Andrew yeah. stuff. They fly out here. Any kind of hurricane. Miami hurricane, Andrew hurricane, dolphin stuff, anything local flies in here. No, we got it, Graham. We got it, the farmer's market tea, size small. For my sister, you know, I'm a good big brother, so I had to do it, I had to do it to him. Thank you. Welcome to Miami, man. Inconsistent bipolar. It be like this sometimes. And then, you know, like five minutes later, literally sunny as it could be, honestly. Good, my brother. Not too much. Is my service working or is it horrible? Nah, you crystal cr clear. Crystal. Big fat mo. I ended up booking another flight, so I just got out of the airport. I'm gonna see you in like 30 minutes. All right, sounds good. All right, I'm about to hop into Uber right now, so it should be like 15 to 30 minutes depending on traffic. All right, sounds good. Security, look. Security. Security. Come on, baby. Chill out, baby. Chill out, baby. This man green. I miss, bro. I miss Chris, bro. I dream about that man every night, bro. Hey, yo. I dream with that man every night, bro. So see, easy. Just remember that. So you out here hiring securities and all that extra. Why got with the uh, Chicago store, our fifth store, opening soon, we wanted to check back in with all the other stores, make sure everything's up to par. Man, it's been like, I want to say six months since I seen the last time I seen Chris. Oh, see, easy, man, that's my guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta, it's my guy, bro, we tight. He's always a pleasure to be around, always cracking jokes. Oh, oh when he used to come to work on Saturdays, he just like chill with us and like hanging out and stuff, like just cracking jokes on everybody. Uh, Luke, I know, is going over to Richmond to check on that store before we open here. I was supposed to go down to Miami and check in on them, but uh, a couple things came up here. It's getting down to the deadline, and things are a bit too busy for me to make the trip right now. I've got a friend out in LA, uh, known him a long time, and people have always confused us. They always, everybody always says we look alike, so I might send him. I gave him a couple tips on how to act like me, how to talk like me, how to dress like me. You can say famo. Famo? You can say famo. Sammo. I love that he's back. And I know he's been doing a lot of good work down in Chicago, you know, building up the store and stuff. He called us ahead of time and he told us he was on his way, but you know, I saw him across the street. I something seemed a little off though, but I don't know. Good, man. Good, bro. Yeah. Good, bro. Yeah. Good, bro. 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 Good,
really good price. They were a little high, like when they first dropped, they were like at 750. I was able to snag one, like we met in the middle at a good price at 420, he wanted 450. And for a shoe like that, I don't mind, you know, paying a little up just because I know it's harder to get, so, and it's gonna go fast, so. Really happy about that. Really, really excited. And I'm happy my buyers are doing so well. And I was online, and not yeah. thrift, really, but like, yeah, I found it online. Yeah, yeah. You have a price in mind that you wanted? 150. I probably wouldn't be 150 on it just because like it's Miami, it's a little hot. Yeah. It's a little slow mover. Um, I can do like 150 store credit or like a little bit more in store credit. Um, I can do like 180 store credit if you want to take a look around. What and stuff about like cash? That. Um, on cash, it'll probably be like like 100 bucks. I was checking online, it goes for like $200, yeah, 250 the, the thing is that online and, and it's a different market just because there's a broader span of yeah, people yeah. that are looking at it here. I just, we're not known for I'll selling this. Yes. I can do 120. This is harder. I, this is going to sit for a while. Yeah, it's going to go to a specific type of person. Yeah. 120? Yeah. Right. Got it. Got it for 50. Yeah. I wanted it for myself, but then I was like, I do pants, right? So I like, I like investing on that. So I was like, you know what, I'd rather do pants, like keep the jacket, I'm not really gonna wear it, so I just sold it, yeah. Take care, man. Make sure you This one, um, we haven't really sold like big leathers before, um, so we're just giving it a try. See how it does. Nice colorful thing, you know? We got a lot of random people, so. So I'm gonna go to picture right now, put it in the system. So look out for Instagram, round two, Vente South Beach. I'd probably just stay firm at the 400. Yeah, just 400. They're a little bit used, like the air is scratched off. Okay. So I'll grab back with your money. Yeah, it's just that I had 712. Thank you. Thanks. Bought this guy for 300. And then bought these ones for 400. Off whites have been rare, especially like coming around these parts. A lot of the Sakai's and new releases come, but like used off-whites, hard to come by. Cause they sell really quickly for us, so. I always try to pick them up. You have to find the right buyer, cause a lot of people just like the latest ones. They don't care about the version. They just care that it says air on it and they get it for a good price. So yeah, this is, this one was pretty worn in, but it's a steal. I'll probably sell it for like 400. People like that type of stuff though. Cause brand new, I'll set it for a thousand. Exactly. You so know? that's a huge gap. Huge, huge gap. Price. Yeah, please don't get this. Nerding out over a box logo. Came in like 2015, 2016. These are fire. The camo's fire. I like camos, as you can tell. Well, everything went to plan. Uh, they never really figured it out, so I might have to use this a little bit more often. I got some work done here. Justin was able to go check in on everybody and take my place. Uh, I might need to stunt double a little bit more often. I think Chicago's been pretty rough on him. The weather, uh, taking care of the dogs, drinking smoothies, eating well. I mean, that might change a person. So, how are the dogs? Uh, everything's good, man. The yeah, dogs yeah. are doing well. well what was uh, their names again? Um, wait, hold on. Sean's calling me. Hold on. So when Chris walked up, he dapped up everybody in the store, and uh, Andreas was a little different. You know, he dapped them up, but it wasn't the same as the dap of everybody else. Hey, maybe I'm tripping, but I'm supposed to keep, I'm supposed to look at everything. I'm supposed to make sure, you know what I'm saying, everything's right. I just, you know what I'm saying? I can tell when my boss looks a little off, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I don't know why somebody would try to, you know what I'm saying, try to be him or try to impersonate him. I don't get it, bro. Um, I kind of did notice something about Chris. He looked a little shorter. Yeah, now that I'm thinking, I don't think that's Chris. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. That ain't Chris, bro. Uh, probably pay like three cash for these. Three? Yeah. So I'm looking at what, three, three, six eighty? <laughs> um, six eighty. And then these ones, you're looking for a trade? I'd probably up the store credit to like two twenty, and then I'd take like thirty out of your cash. Okay. So it was, it would be like six fifty cash and the trade. All right. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. These are the fit. 
and I couldn't wear these to save my life. When I took them off, it's like I had a whole anaconda wrapped around my leg, bro. This is terrible. They're nice. Don't get me wrong. Worst thing is I paid resale for these too. So. Yeah. Like I paid four, four twenty. Not bad. But yeah, bro. Taking these off. Mm -hmm. No go. Trying to get some shadow ones. I had the chance to get these with my discount, but folded. It helped us a lot. Like uh, StockX came out and you know kind of shook up the game. You know, people kind of blame StockX for prices being up or down, or everybody just focusing on a certain price instead of just having like a set market, have your own price. But rental has been great, man. That buy, sell, trade. I'm big on trading. So I have to go find somebody to buy this in order for me to come buy this. I could just do it all here at once. You guys take care. Picante underscore Galeria. Fuck with the vision, all right? That's the page, that's me and my boys page right here. We run that. So anything you see up here, you can try to find. When we open the bag, we show you the goods right now in a bit. Yeah, definitely some trades. I like some of the kicks that the boys got out here. So I know they like the clothes, so we're gonna do that. I'm looking at some ones, some fours. Some of my favorites. So yeah, I'm trying to get that. I ended up getting like 390 store credit for some dope tees, but you know I needed the ones more than the tees right now because that shit goes with everything. Royal blue ones, a nine and a half joint, that's like my third pair because why the fuck not? And you already know inside we got to get the little accessories, the little motherfucking space chant fair bricks, and la loca. Picante underscore galeria, all right? Follow us, all right? Do everything together. This is my my main man. My brother's right here. We just you know. Show, show them the bricks, bro. Show oh, them the bricks. We, we got the clean bricks. Just came in, you know. You feel me? You know we in the MIA, so we gotta move them bricks. Hey, one one, <laughs> baby. So, uh, just got a call from Justin. Uh, I guess our plan didn't work out perfectly. Dude, are they are are they really buying this? Like. Seriously, Graham, like, I really think Andres, like, does not fuck with me. And I think he's, like, actually kind of pissed. I'm not even playing no more, bro. I'm dead ass. Yeah, I thought he was the exact one-for-one -one stunt double, but apparently some people can tell the difference. Bro, whoever that was, bro, I don't want to see you here no more, bro. I don't want to play as it, bro. It's dumb for No more rounds you for At least so. CDG. I'm here for the Royals. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. No boy. I'm here for the red ones. I'm from Jersey. Follow my vintage page at the Sacred Montage. I'm here to get the uh, Travis Air Force Ones. CDG. I'm from uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands. So I went to Cups and sell some stuff. Uh, 
I went uh, to the LA store one time and uh, just checking the show. It's great. Yeah, from Long Island. Come and sell a couple of stuff. I get some shadow backwards probably. Yeah, I'm coming from Long Island. I just came with a couple of shirts just to get rid of. I don't really need anything. What's going on? I'm trying to get rid of these Travis Scotts. Uh, see what they say. Good size though, size six, so let's see what happens. You know, people want this jacket. Waited all night for this. CDG, Supreme, got Harold Hunter on the inside. Yeah, it is reversible. Got the bread ones, royal ones, 160. You know, can't really beat that price. This one's, we have it at 50 bucks. Just missing a button. Somebody will get that replaced. Yeah, these we have at 160. You know, still wearable. Not that crazy heel drag. Yeah. So the guy. What's up? My name's Kobe. Yeah, this is his first day today. He's been coming here. He said he bought these clots here before. He's got some steals from us, so he's really excited. Can't wait. Graham, it's been a while. I see you in like I want to say it's been six months. Damn, it's been six months. Six months. That's crazy. Yeah, last week was really busy because the rolling loud. Yeah. Now it's stupid busy. Cause people coming here before we're allowed to get their fits oh, off. That's true, that's true. Cause they used to do that in Miami. Shout out Andre. I miss you so much. This year, um, Travis got sixes. Those are fire. Everybody wants them. Sakai's have been like the thing of the year basically. It's like easy. There's like a new one every week. So it's like they're kinda like Jordan releases now. Like you see our easy walls stacked up. Like that's all we get in now from Adidas. The Ultra Boost wave died out. Um, even like the Pharrell stuff, the human race stuff, it ain't hidden no more. Yeah, I don't know. It's kinda like a weird time for shoes. Dunks are back in. So these, um, this is like a worn once pair. We have it at 750. Before brand new, the shoe used to go for like 350. So prices on some of these are crazy now. These 300, that's actually a fair price. 600, these used to be like 250. Nobody like really paid up for these. Jedi six, they've always been like pretty up there with pricing. So this is pretty valid. Um, anything lobster now, dumb prices. Like this is a size 14, so it's 500. Smaller sizes are like a thousand now. Avengers, 200 bucks. <laughs> that's pretty much what they've always been at. Sabotages, these are fire. 350, that's not bad. But the golf joints, they did this like I guess if you play golf, they do something with this. I'm not too sure, but 160, um, that's fair. Puffin stuffs are fire. Too bad they're like a size five. They're all tiny. Yeah, I don't know. We need some more cool dunks, so yo, bring them in. SBs, they're hot right now. You can get as many for them. Mmm. Hear that? I don't. And that's part of like this world, I guess. You just gotta keep up with what everybody wants because that's how you know you stay consistent. Otherwise, like you get caught up and you won't be able to like adapt or whatever so you gotta be willing to like change with the times like it sucks but it's just how it is like people just want what's hot at the time and then once it's not hot no more it's like only the people that actually care about it or were actually into it are still into it so we'll see what next year brings <laughs> I'm here for the Royals, and you're getting the Royals, yeah. and you're getting this, yes. and the breads, and you're getting the breads, okay. Yeah. So you are going to owe me $50 for this lovely jacket. Yes. Royals are going to be 174 with 20 cents. Alright, thank you guys, take care. Thank you. I'm going to send you a bag. I'm going for some breads. Some we usually have them for like 600 brand new. So. Thank you. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Hello, sir. How's it going together? Oh, fire. You know, I remember I used to have these brand new uh, for $350. Yeah. And they were sitting. And now they're going for like. Crazy. Mad You're lucky with the big sizes, they don't go for that. Yeah, yeah exactly. The size 13. What's up, dude? What up, man? I just want to put it. I'm about to buy something. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, so buy some. Travis T. Cool. It's just like 50 credit. You 60? He told me 80, but I didn't do 60. I'll do 60, yeah. All right. 
Oh, uh, the just down. Oh, I just seen y'all post them last night. Oh, yeah. Can I see the other hand? Yeah, of course. This is like my favorite color of these. Yeah. That oil is yeah. just so good. Yeah, I set an alarm to come this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't think I would be able to grab them. Then I saw the alarm. I'm like, shit, somebody's going to grab them. Somebody's going to get them. Yeah. 325. 325. Oh, yeah. So got the fit today. Got the Supreme Steep Tech. Little kids pair of Travis Scott's, you know. Hot item right here. Hey, Graham. Got Graham back. Hey, man. Stop. <laughs> I don't know what the streets have been talking about, but so is it still here. All right. Good drip. See you, bro. Good drip. I'll take this back. Can I get the cash for this and credit for this? All right, cool. This was at 350 so I'll just do like 420 cash. Okay. It was, it was good. Good day. You know, traded in some stuff, got some credit, got a fresh uh, more air long sleeve. You're all shot. Right. Thanks. Uh, I'll let her know, and then you'll be done on this. They got you right there. All right, thank you. Yeah, just got it off eBay. You know, big Sean Wallace fan. So shout out. Nine and a half. Yeah, I can do like a thousand. Yeah. Cash. You want to do that? So, how'd you get these? Damn, gotta love the sneakers, sneakers out, right? 250 retail? Yeah, I like them, but I need the money right now, so why not put them, you know? Thanks, you got that. Nice. I saw it. Oh, boy. How much are you looking for? Uh, Probably like a. Uh, like a thousand cash or like twelve credit. I'll just be at a thousand. It's like a slower size to sell. Uh, like twelve. If you want to walk around? Yeah, let me know. How are you doing? How are you? All right. How's everything going? It's tough. You know, filming for the show. I see. Some off whites. The Prestos. So you're looking for some store credit? Yeah, that's right. Cool. I'll break it down for you real quick. Okay. On these, it's like two credit. Okay. Like three fifty. All right. Another two on the UNCs, and then on the Prestos, it's like another four fifty. Done. Cool. You got on these? Well. Yeah. It, the legacies are a little harder for us. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It's you like want to just give these to somebody? You want to give them away? Yeah. yeah. I'll put them up. Thank you, man. Yeah. Kid will like those. That's exactly right. What are you sign, uh, saving up for? Trapses. Oh, Sixes. Sick. Uh, this is an 11. Yeah. yeah we 10 and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 11. If it's right. a 10, I could take the insole out. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot, All man. Right. Thank you so much. All right. Um, All right. Double extra OT. Yeah. Pretty good though. Clean, brand new pair, so seven. No problem, man. Thanks a lot. Like, saved them a year ago. You just saved them until now. Loop, the loop, the loop today is these legacies. They're free. Well, I don't even know if they look. This guy wore them like to the, to, to the grocery store and back. Um, I'm gonna tell him to ask you. Yo, I need your opinion real quick on uh, this guy right here. Is Luke anywhere to be around or what? I actually haven't seen him, bro. Maybe uh, he'll come in here later or... Um... Damn, hopefully he's okay. I've been really worried. Ooh. But the thing, the thing that's bothering me is the way this, like... This... Loose? No, it's not loose. It's just like, like the laser cut looks kind of weird. And it didn't have box or anything. Just pass on it then. Yeah? Yeah, if you don't feel comfortable with anything, just pass on it always. Alright, wait, can you say what up to us or not? Nah? Yo, what's up? Oh, who it is? Yo, in LA. I'm gonna see you in Chicago. Alright, see you there. Alright, thanks.
Probably three. That size is crazy. Fifteen. I'm gonna have to wait for like an athlete or something. I'm gonna be in the middle three times. I just wanna pay three credit. I could do more. That's the thing. If you want, I'm gonna be at three fifty. Oh, you wanna take a look? Yeah, I'll take a look. Cool. Everybody likes these, but you know, size fifteen. I don't know, man. Size fifteen. You put both your feet low. Yes. Yes. No. I want to talk to you. Hello? Oh, man. It's Luke. He said he's on the way. <laughs> no, Luke. No. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down in VA, like, I was heading back to the shop after my lunch break, and I noticed him outside the store. It didn't really seem like he knew where he was or who I was. I remember leaving the shop, and then I'm pretty sure it was Thursday, so I must have gone to Helen's, and then this next thing I know, I'm in Coney Island, but it's not the first time that's happened, you know, being going to bars in Richmond. Yo, what's good? What's going on? It smelled kind of funny. It smelled like the ocean and hot dogs. I don't know if you ever know what that smells like, but yeah, it was kind of crazy. Uh, he seemed a little out of it, a little tired, so I sat him down in a chair for a nap. I uh, hope he gets better, man. I, I, t I went to sleep in the back, took a nap, I was tired, and as soon as I woke up, I knew exactly what I needed to do. Thursday nights in Helens, am I right? <laughs> I got it, I got it like two before. Five, uh, ten? Honey, bro, it's what a burner phone. Come on, nigga. I don't even know if it's used, bro. Nah, I just got it in the mouth today, just now. Oh, got the new burner phone. Honey. One tip, come on. Let me get some lunch. One tip. Put a hundred in the camp bank account. you the first one opening it. I ain't even opened it to look at it. Alright. Oh, it's in here. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I ain't even open it. New burner phone. Yeah, put that on. Put you that on the plays on that. Man. I know, right? That's the trap phone. Nah, you you told that you call, you call that the thirst trap. You know what I mean? And you that's your side phone for the side pieces. Go like this. People looking at you with the cream on it, like yo. Yeah, yo, ma, stop playing. Come through. <laughs> Spin the block. <laughs> You put that in the trunk of the car under the tire. Supreme, supreme.com. Here you go, man. All right. Thank you. have a good one. Enjoy. You yeah. should, you should uh, think about keeping that for yourself. Keep that away from the wife, you know? Mark uses this phone on the regular. It's a new blue Supreme burner phone. That's how uh, round two was started. <laughs> <laughs> Big OG Luke move on one of these back in the day riding a Segway. He had long hair and he was chubby. I miss chubby Luke. So sorry. What's up? These are the phones that we um. I gotta get back to work. Just in the wait, wait, wait. Before you hang up, these are the numbers that we give to everybody, so no one will have our numbers. All right? Okay. This is what the burn this is for. All right. Thank you. All right. Don't forget that. 
The best part is it actually does have games. It does? Yeah, go yeah, Mark, show them. It's like a bejeweled looking game. Oh, it does. What's the games? Bubble Party Mix and Pure Jump. That's what Pure Jump is about. <laughs> you gotta like, you know, you gotta gear up. You gotta time it. Ugh. Well, that's kind of trash though. Let's play the other game. Quilted hoodie. Yeah. Only around two more times for shit like this. Shout out to Sean, man. About to open a Chicago store this week, right? Next week, yeah. We were just talking to Briss about it. Man, yeah. We will be there. He will be there. I might have to cop this. <laughs> <I don't laughs> Just to have it, because this, this is a rare piece. This is yeah, Nego. Yep. You know, this is like the Nego era. How much is it for? On the T's, 100. Um, yeah. This one's a special collab, so I need more, like 120 for the. It's like a Bristol uh, collab. Yeah. I probably hold on. Yeah. They don't have camo? Yeah. What do you want with these two? The 100 for the Swarrow, and then I could do 60 on the. Yeah. Yeah. Hoodies, Swarrow, or what? It's it's a 359. I could do 300 on that. So another track? Yeah. I'd probably be good on the jacket. I'm also looking for hoodies. Oh, what's your one for these guys? Uh, 300. 180. And then... Do like 150? I could do 160 in the middle. Okay. But that one 280. 280. And then... For the user. Yeah, and then that one 360. It's brand new. 360? Yeah, it's brand new. Uh, probably like a 320. Alright. And would you want on this guy? Three? Yeah, 300 for the one. Would you do 90 a T? That's usually what I pay for. Nah. I, sell them, I sell them in Miami for 105. Oh, really? So you guys. Do. Okay. Right, let me count you up over here. So 300. Yeah, 3, 160. 160 280. For sure, yeah. Alright, so yeah. 280 nine. and then. That's perfect. So 900. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. I'll probably take one out of the other two. Oh. Look, bro. Appreciate it. Yo. Take it easy. What's going on? I love on? you, bro. I love you, bro. I I'm know you do. Down. I clocked out from work. I didn't even tell my manager I left. For these nine and a half. Shout out to Wayne for a minute. What's up, man? Yo, I'm about to get fired. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I double parked. I don't know, man. Congrats, man. I hope I don't get a ticket. Yeah, it's I just got 500 store credit. Oh, yeah, all day. You guys take a NYPD tickets? <laughs> yeah. Yo, when I saw a nine and a half, I fucking flew down from the office. I stole my car, just crashed my boss's Bentley and shit. Yo, yo, come on. Yo, I'm gonna take care of you guys, man. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Car on the beat, car got wings. Shout out to Sean, you know what I'm saying? He, he let me do my first pop up with round two, man. And, you know, he's about to open up the Chicago store. And next thing you know, it's gonna be a. Fucking round two in Idaho, man. Oh, we had it during uh, Grammy weekend. Um, I was nominated for a Grammy. I eventually won one too. Uh, God's playing with Drake, and um, I did a collab with my boy Mama Do, and sold out within like an hour. It went crazy. And Sean showed the most love because we did we did it at his store. I asked him once, and he didn't even say anything else. He's like, "Let me know when." Cool. But it should be around two collabs so soon. Soon. You know, when you want them, you want them, you know what I'm saying? Stock X take too long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't, go. I ain't got nothing to say. Hi. <laughs> take care, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. That's why you go to round two. I don't know, honestly. They just, they just lit, man. I'm about to wear these to work, though. But you see, you see these right here, these royal ones? Trash. I wear these every day. I'm gonna wear these every day. I buy sneakers to wear, not to resell. Oh, I'm gonna put some quarters in there because, you know, the um, <laughs> the credit card don't work for the meter machine. I come in here. Take care, bro. I'll see you later. Appreciate it. Yo, I'm gonna come back. Welcome back, Graham. Welcome back, round two. New York City. Hi right, guys. Today's purchase. So we're round, it's a greetings from Round Two New York shirt. Uh, no, as another anniversary. These guys have been here another year here in New York, uh, and the company is growing. Hi, I'm Bruce. 
Nice scene. It's been a while. Ah, uh, four? Five years? When it was only the Richmond store? Uh, the first Richmond store. Sean's beard. Sean had a nice, thick beard at the time. Uh, Luke didn't have as many tattoos. Chris was still tall. That didn't change. Ah, favorite memory. Um, so, what's my favorite memory? What? The first kickball game, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. First kickball game? Luke. Luke. I like the first episode too. The early, the earlier, it was like the couch in the back of the store. That was the best. Uh, the VHS it used to play. The phone, mm. the Michael Jordan phone. That was great. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? You heard we were filming, so you came out today. <laughs> as always. Yeah, as always. As right? always. Where you, you know, been though? Tell the streets where you been. I've been around. Where? Got to move different. Oh. <laughs> it's like chess out here. Chess pieces. I'm still Mr. Touch Joint. I got every item. As I should, of course. Got Fearless in my house early. Red, white, blues. It's bad shit. I had them early though. It's Three weeks. Ago. I still got two nines. I got them now. You got them now? Yeah. Cap. Cap? Cap. I'll send you a picture. Text me and I'll bet you I'll send you. you got two size nines. Bro. Nah, you know Fresh don't lie. Fresh? I don't I'm Mr. Touch the Joint. I think Fresh might have just lied. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just running around shopping, trying to hope to get a few different items here and there. You know, I always got to keep my eyes open to spend a little cash to make some money. It's all about making money, not being funny and bummy. Money. So tell, no, so tell us about the new shoe that's here. Come on. I want to talk about it. You got to talk about it. So these released Monday. Correct? Monday. Yeah, we actually so today got Today is Saturday. Payroll. So that means you guys have them early. We do. So people should come here so these are the for early releases. Plans. So they've done so far two collaborations. They did a Vapor Max, and then they did a Nike ID Blazer, the Sponge, which is. I got you. We actually got one right here. So this is called the Sponge Shoe, and Monday you're gonna be able to write Air and write Flea or Sunshine on them. And as people should know, this is the up tempo font that Supreme also used on it. So. It's a nice twist so to what it's gonna be. Technique is going into this. I'm so proud of you guys. Look at the graphics. Look at him. Like this is a skill. Graham, look at this. <laughs> you don't just do this. <laughs> do this. Hey! So, I love the music y'all are playing. Oh, I can't Graham too. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Round two, Vintage New York, NYC. Let's go. You can get that, did you? The dude putting an ungodly amount of Parmesan cheese on his dollar slice, like so much, around his mouth like a fucking beer. from Chappelle show, remember? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! Alright. One, three, eight, Ludlow Street. New York, New York. One, zero, 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 two. Vintage by round two, New York. Leave this for the whip. Bro, you do. Except in VA, you have to have uh, plates on both sides. Oh, you can't do the vanity plate? Uh-uh. Ah, -uh. uh, damn. You can do both. Yeah. You can have the plate hanging up from under the vanity plate, <laughs> scraping. <laughs> Are y'all talking about truck nuts? Nah, Clark. Nah. Thor was literally just looking at truck nuts all morning on Where Amazon. do you get them? How much are they? See? They got I, 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 they're like, no, I'll just say loose. 75 bucks. All right, so I was finding a couple for uh, $12. I feel like they're hollow. The market's gone down. I want solid I want Solid, solid brass? brass? Yeah. yeah, $12. No, they're not solid. Th bro. Uh, at, at 30, that's more than twelve dollars in brass. They're like only this big. I don't like the big. No, want, I want like you want the big. All right, well, we'll see what I can do. I'll talk to, I'll talk to my guy. I'll talk to my guy. Let's go. Truck nuts. You know. There's gotta be the American. The American choice. I like when uh, people put them on low riders. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta have them scrape. Cool. So, welcome to Vintage. Over here, when you get in, we're gonna have all the pop culture shirts. We put all our sports stuff in the middle over here. Back here gets a little mixy. We got Harley Davidson, NASCAR, racing, wrestling, all that good stuff. On this side, it gets a little bit more musical. So we're gonna have Banties top right, hip hop and R&B on the left, cartoons bottom left, and then anything from a TV show or movie bottom right here. And then against the window over here, 
you can follow. It says anything related to New York. So it gets kind of fun, some sports stuff in there. And then all our brand names, Tommy, Guess, Polo, um, Ralph Lauren's gonna be right here in the middle. Uh, just as vintage, like, polo, like, overthrow kind of. It's just crazy. I've seen this before, anywhere. So, so I don't really know what well. it's worth. But some of this stuff, usually with the Playboy stuff, it was normally, like, dated. Yeah, so it's no, harder. I, there's no date. It's harder to tell. It's super subtle, too. Like, yeah, like, it's super low-key. Like, all it has is the zipper and, like, the hit on the... Yeah. That and the zipper. Which is sick. The zipper's the best. Yeah. What would you guys like, what would you guys value it at? If we were to sell something like this, it'd be like in the store for like probably like 100, 120 bucks. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. So there's definitely some value to it. I don't know what something like that retailed for. I'm okay, curious. Cool. So yeah. I'll say it's like 90s. Sure, I'll take a look around. And look, I'm gonna just take the 25. Hold the rest. Yeah. Sure. You know, there's a lot of things. Get my uh, bag and I'm ready. Sponsored by Mercedes? Uh, I saw it. It's like the embroidery and the color blocking. I really like. It's loud, but it's also like chill at the same time. You guys find everything out there? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you, man. No, I mean, I'll trade. Can I get enough credit to get a sticker pack on? Yeah, I'll give you like four each. You good to go on that? Cool. Yeah, man. Good. Put it on right now. Straight trade. trade. And I'm gonna get. You guys doing okay? Sticker. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a thrift store in Peterborough, Ontario. Yeah. I wore it a long time, but it's time to time to let it go. <laughs> Round two. That's the fucking wave, man. Round two. I've been to L.A. I've been to uh, Virginia, the original one, the vintage one as well. Obviously, New York. Yeah. Yeah. Shit is sick. I, I, yeah. Like the culture, they completely changed the culture. Like. What up, man? Been a long time. I'm back. Be back. Be back. Give them to all my friends. All my friends will be laced up. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Oh my god. That's the classic sticker. I know, they're all classic. That's the fucking best one. Enjoy, man. Thank you so much. I gotta be one of y'all best customers in this motherfucker. Oh, okay. No? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're up there. <laughs> hey, get the drip, man. Round two, man. My, my words, my god, D. What you got for me today, D? I got this in the XL, it just came in. Nah, it's waterproof. How much is this item? 600. God damn. Yeah. In the thrift store. This, <laughs> this right here, this oh, is the power. Word. This gives me the power. This is kale, cucumber, ginger, lemon, and two green apples. I traded this for bacon, egg, and cheese every morning. This is the way to go. Somebody just brought this in and I freshly acquired it. That's how we do it here, man. You just gotta go, you gotta get your shit and get the fuck out, man. I go hiking every morning, so I need something to keep me warm when I'm hiking. What'd you pay for it? Let's see. 600 he charged me. That's good. That's good. That's what you're getting today? Yeah. That's so, good. You don't want the bag? What the bag? The bag. Nah, I'm scared. For the car, just in case. Oh, you said it in the You don't need that? <laughs> Yo, I'm out, bro. I'll be back tomorrow. Still arguably one of the hottest shoes. It took me so long to get an 11. It took me a year to get an 11, and it was from Japan. So my tags got Japan right in them. Demons is trash, Demons is, <laughs> he skates them. It took me so long. Those are the skateboarding shoes. Clean. I ain't making them all for y'all. I think you wanna buy something, so I'm, truthfully, I'm gonna try to get out of it with stock credit. I love Union. I miss U New York Union Store. I miss it so much. Dima, look at the tag on there. Where'd you get that shit, bro? Where'd you get that joint? Your old job? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> that E, man. Yo, come on, man. Yo, I just don't hear that right now.
I got face shit on. This is yours? Yo, that's what I'm saying, bro. You got this at Star Carrots, huh? Look how much he's sweating, guys. Look how much he's sweating right now. Because he doesn't know about the item. Because the thread on this is polyester, man. It's supposed to be cotton. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh no, it's real. <laughs> Nelson doesn't wear fake Supreme. We all know that. <laughs> Look at his face. Have me sweater. Literally. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> I'm just buying stuff off my off, my, off like my old job, so I'm thinking it's real. <laughs> God damn, it's hot in here now. <laughs> Had me swimming for a second. I was paranoid. <laughs> hey, look at the, look at my shirt. It's really drenched. <laughs> you got nothing to worry about, bro. It's a drip. <laughs> <laughs> so fake box logos would do to people, man. It's correct. Whew. Panic button. Cool. Cool. I'm a, you have a price of mine right now? You're looking for? Um, I was like nine, so. Nine. Honestly, if for pairs, I've been paying like seven. Seven? Uh, I'll, do, I'll do like eight credit. I would probably stay at seven. seven? Yeah. Um, all right. Let me think about it. Cool. Thank you, Tom. Um, they usually be looking at like 450 cash or like 550 credit on the shirts. It's like um, 70 on the Mary J. Blige, like another 70 on the smoke. Cash, I wouldn't take the tees, I would just take these. Okay, yeah. I'll think about it. Cool, take a look, let me know. Thank you. The baby Travis's for all the ladies. Get your girl a pair, she wants them. <laughs> Those are the guys. What's up, guys? What's up? What's How's it going? How's it going? Hey, Say what up. Good? Say what up to the show. Say Yo, what, what up. What up? I see you got the Travis. Yeah, I've been How's getting it doing? him. How's it doing? It's doing really well. What's going on? What's up, man? How are you? What's up, everything? I think I feel like it slowed down a little bit. It, you think so? More hype than ever. Yeah. Really? Let's come and say what's up. Oh, he's got to represent the team. Nah. I'm gonna get an all-star one. I'm gonna look around. Thank you. Cool. Anytime. Show love to round two. What are you guys like? On these right now, it's just because of like yo drag, it wouldn't be much cash. Like 250 credit, you'd be looking more at like 320. On these guys right here, cash, you'd probably be looking at like six. Credit, it'd probably be like seven. Okay. Yeah. So can I keep them here and look around them? Yeah, that's cool. Right, cool. Yeah, take a look. Let me know. The colors are cool though. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, they, they don't feel bad. I mean, they're right there, but a lot of decisions. Uh, right now? Yeah. That's the, the Tiger. Right now? You looking for cash today or credit? Uh, cash should be looking at like 600 for both. Huh? Yeah, I got a for weeks. I got the off whites at Concepts and the Sakai's at Dover Street. Yo, 174 each? Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't really resell. I'm just, after a while looking at them, I'm just not really feeling them that much anymore. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thanks. What's wrong? Thanks. Yeah, the GS one. Yes. Yeah, I'll do like 550 if you wanted it. Not bad. Try for my size, but they got the GS, so I'll take it. <laughs> both, I like both. But the six has got the little, the details, the pouch, the glow in the dark bottom, so you really can't go wrong with those. I got the highs, I got the lows. Still want to get the, the fours, so I'm trying to complete the, the cycle. Um, they always have stuff that you need, and you can get it right in store. So that's always the best. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Anytime. He came back in like, where's the guy at?
I love the vintage store. I love the vintage store. I'm not gonna lie. You saw the um? Did you check out the Chucky doll? For real? Yeah, we are gonna walk over there. Okay, have fun, guys. Yo, get, bring me that RoboCop toy. That shit's got a RoboCop toy. See now we gotta get a vintage. The weather's changing out here. We stand him up a little bit. Oh, see, he, he see, he's real. Y'all think he's a joke. Chill, don't be chill, chill. There's people around, chill. Tease today. This man has a crazy collection of Crypt Keeper tees. Like three, four, four, maybe four. It's that time of year, too. It's like my birthday. Halloween and Christmas is my real birthdays. My birthday isn't in March. That's not my birthday. It's chill. Yo, why we never do this? Yo. This is scary. Oh, no. That's the one. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. I'm sure that's Adams. You're going to have to talk to him. About that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, yeah, I uh, work, you know, we set up the garden for Knicks games, Rangers games, whole bunch of stuff, and, you know, it's just stuff we get our hands on, and um, it's beautiful, man. It's a great opportunity, you know, because, you know, they would throw this away, and us in the culture, we appreciate this type of stuff, so I'm just trying to lock in a buyer for these things. Mm -hmm. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Where you going next, Chicago? The grand opening of the Chicago store. Yo. Yo, yeah, what's good? What you doing? Not much. You're what? Oh, it looks great, dude. You just want to see what the place looks like. Yeah, that looks amazing, dude. Yeah. Um, I send us a size run of each of the round two tees we have out here. Um, and a bunch of Yeezys. And some Travis Scott sixes. Um, okay, fire. Yeah. I'm stoked. Um, I just, well, I know you're busy. Whenever you get a chance, do send me all that payroll stuff. I'd like to get it going tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's like, so -so. Oh, what I got. What is that? Come open it with me. Yo, Nelson, watch the floor. What is this? Oh my God, Johnny! <laughs> Johnny, I didn't even know it was gonna be this big. What are you? Where are you gonna put this? <laughs> he, his room is tiny. You don't have anywhere to put this, Johnny. Tyler, if you're seeing this, you're number one fan. <laughs> Clearly. Oh my. 150. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, nobody's gonna have it, so. <laughs> this is. This is probably one of the wildest things I've ever seen come across the shop. <laughs> go over there before your cousin flies out. What's up, my bro? Good. How you doing? Yeah, he will. He will in the future. Hopefully. Nah, hopefully, man. You gotta see things into fruition, man. You gotta always stay positive. Sean used to buy shit like this all the time. All those signs. It's insane. Kid's like 14 too. Imagine what my mom would say if I brought some stuff like this. She's Spanish too, he's Spanish too. This might be the last time we see Johnny. Again. You know what's funny? That it actually might be the last time you see me. <laughs> when you're Mexican, you realize that dumb purchases are Dumb purchases. <laughs> <laughs> and your parents will make sure that you know that. Well, here. <laughs> You're happy. <laughs> what you got for me today? <laughs> oh. Yo. Damn. Oh. Shout out to round two proxy. Huh? Oh, round two proxy, huh? <laughs> All right, tell them who it is. Round two proxy, AKA the funny project. Did you hear it? So how much are you talking about? Credit. What are you talking about? Credit? Yeah. I only missed the- Probably like 250. 
and uh, four. Hey. I know you are, but come on, man. These are you. Uh, that's a pretty name. <laughs> John, talk, talk to me. All of a sudden, you bringing in dunks? That's crazy. Okay, Troy. I see you, Troy. He's a good shoe and a good size. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. It's my favorite shoe right here. It's the Sega Supreme Dunks. I want a candle. Latino mom vibes, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you went to the wake mama? The good people over at Awake, one of the hottest new brands in the city, New York. Angelo, good people, Queens. I would have got it. They brand new? This brand new, DS? Yes, sir. Show you use it one time? They got the paper inside. <laughs> Talk to me on the balls, what you want? Crazy. Talk you to me on the balls. <laughs> Four. That's wild. Bro. What you think? 250, so crazy. For these, 100 for these. 80. And for the balls, we back at the balls. Oh, everybody's just gonna look at my balls now. Check out the balls. Just gotta spin them in my hand, you know. Yo, you break your spine. I'm gonna tell you the same thing. How do they make that so sound? Make it's them up. You yeah. gotta shake it. The iron balls. Uh, you know, be like a hundred store credit. I think my balls are worth a little bit more. Oh, really? <laughs> you should uh, put these balls back in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know, probably like 150 credit maybe, 120. 120 you being polite, because I like Mark, but I don't know. Debo. Look around, let me know. Uh, I'll put it to the side for you. How to get it, met him before, homie. So I have to support the man, you know? Thank you, round two, appreciate you. So today we are going to Statue of Liberty, so we are closing early, 5.30. Shout out to the statue. Are we still going to do this? It's raining a lot outside. I brought my umbrella for your camera though. But it was Kelly's idea, so you know, if we blame anyone, we blame Kelly. It so. wasn't my idea for everybody to go. I just wanted to go with Graham and Luke. It's me. What's up? You excited for this thingy plan, Graham? That the weather's not permitting for? Talking hot shit about me in the screen. Yo, I didn't do that. Yeah, bro, that you wasn't did me. That. that wasn't yeah, me. Yeah, you did. How do you know that was me? You know I had to retaliate, bro. Bro. I like a toy right now. Oh, yeah, I'm acting toy right now. You went over Briss, bro. Where? Right there. You can't see it, but you went over him. That's an old tag. Whatever. This is my table. <laughs> Yo! I'm hyped, bro. I always used to take the ferry to Staten Island. Now I get to see the Statue of Liberty from the back. I heard she got back. Oh. That's my very right. Staying dry out here. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna go get ready to get wet, right? I didn't Stay bring tuned. an umbrella, so let's hope they got ponchos over there. Cause if they don't have ponchos, then I'm gonna get soaked. It's raining out, so we're gonna go to boat. Cause that's the best thing to do when it's raining out. Yeah, not seeing you in like three weeks. Oh, big thorn building. Wow, bro, happy birthday. Exactly. Maybe you might. Freddy's. The one that's on Vessi. Oh, Monster Chicago. The new one. They're posting everything right now. They have box logos. Even the store itself, it just looks really nice. And I, I like the board too in the back. Yeah, they've been posting some some heaters. Peace, Graham. Take care. I'm out. Yeah, one person needs to go with them. The crazy ass uh, shoe wall on the side. That shoe wall. Deciding. Be there. It's too many shoes. These are like I'm taking, by his grills now. I'm taking uncles with the dunk.
Next door to that is the famed Jersey Central Railroad. New York, New York Harbor attack. He wanted the immigrants, the exiles, to see the statue. The very first thing they would see upon arriving into American territory. The New York water attack. So what better place to put it than in the harbor? It's based in Europe, based in France. That was the idea. How's this for audio? Way all the way It was tight. Old. Tall. I usually only see it from IKEA. She wants to talk on camera. Look up, Graham. There's nothing up there. That was uh, a fun 20 minute fucking <laughs> 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 wonderful experience. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. We're pretty much back, guys. The show's over. <laughs> Ride was short and sweet. That's what I think. I've been here for 26 years, and this is the first time I've ever seen the Statue of Liberty. So shout out to Luke. You know what? I've been alive for 20 years, and that's the first time I've been on boat. Oh wow! Uh, shorter than I was expecting, but you know the rain held off. It's fine. The 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 vessel. She was seaworthy. I don't know what her name was. Oh, the statue? Oh, I thought you were about the vessel. The statue was cool. Tall. Fly in Chicago. You coming? What time? I'll see you there. <laughs> There's your transition. Welcome to Chicago, round two. Welcome. The largest project yet. Been some long nights in here, you know? We're getting it done. What, you wanna see around the store? It's not complete yet. Pretty excited about this section right here. These are placeholders, but we will have a selection of vintage books for sale. Curated by uh, Luke only. I read, so. But no, seriously, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's what's cool about this store, actually. We had so much space to do shit that we never really had an opportunity to do before, like different elevations of round two. A giant center rack like this, for example. We went back to our roots, like VA, we did the slat wall. That's always been like our favorite shoe wall, though, because it's kind of like the most OG. And actually, look at how long this rack is. Did you get the, did you really get the length of this rack on there? Do you want to use my hand as comparison so people can see how big the rack actually is? So here's a human hand. Off-white, velum, callus, assorted streetwear, like Noah and Kit, etc. Oh, etc. Supreme t-shirts, 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 t-shirts. Tons of the Supreme North faces. There's so much to show. I don't know, if, it, if you've been keeping up with the IG, you'll see. We put together a few collections. But yeah, that's, our, that's kind of our thing right now. We're going through the IG, picturing it all. Ooh, you should get the case. Some goodies in there. Um, so these are the Freddy Kruegers, samples, recall, it's pretty cool, it's pretty much their golden era as beat Dunn's put into one, these are 3,000. Came from the LA store, Sean brought them, 1,500, off-white dunk, hasn't came out, but for like a Virgil shoe, yeah, it's not that crazy. Everybody was excited about these, 
the Cactus Jack sixes, Travis Scott sixes. So these are the Trophy Room fives. Funny story is I got offered a bunch of these in New York when they came out for like 400 to 450. And honestly, I just didn't trust the shoe just because it was a Trophy Room shoe. And usually they drop them at Trophy Room, they go for a lot, and then they drop them like on sneakers and they plummet. This is a 11 and a half for a thousand dollars. But if you get like premium sizes, they're like 15 to 2,000. Which is kind of crazy because we got offered like 30 to 40 pairs at 400 a piece. Oh, hey, Graham. You know, been working on a little collaboration with Mercedes Benz, Round 2, and Vindeavor's Auto House. Just got it in the first run. We're going to be dropping these at the opening out here. There's a bunch of them. Still waiting on the crew next to come in from it, but we got a bunch of tees. Oh! Really sweet opportunity though to work with Mercedes and do an official Mercedes collab. You wanna come out to the basement? <laughs> Welcome to the basement. The dungeon, the lair. Welcome to the basement, AKA the stock room, AKA the storage room. This has been the, uh, the picture palace. This is where every picture on the Instagram has gone down so far. And then this is where we keep uh, people who do bad things in the store. Go ahead, Graham, you wanna step in there? Go ahead. All right, Graham. Locking up for the night. We'll see ya. <laughs> is this crazy? So this was a restaurant before and this is where they would keep their liquor so their employees wouldn't steal it. All right, Graham, let's get out of here. This building is from the 1800s. Who knows what's still living down here? Who knows what's buried in these walls? There's a knock at the door. Okay. This is the first time that we're doing this, viewers. You can either press one to see who's at the door, two to not see who's at the door, or three for Chris to punch Luke in the face. So you can click that on your remote. Okay, you want to do the door? Thank you. Oh. Yeah, who is it? It's Adam. Is it a bro bagel? Dude, wait. No. Wait, 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 wait. If you're here, then who's getting the charger from us? Hello, Graham. Welcome to the place I've been living for the last six months building this goddamn place. 7,300 square feet. Normally we do like 1,500, 2,000 square feet. All three stores in one, so. This will definitely be the uh, craziest opening Here's yet. Chris and I'm a full-blown contractor now. Yo, how was, uh, yo, Chris, how was it in South Beach when you went over there? Uh, so we got about two days until we open. It's getting really close, 48 hours left. Uh, got a bunch of stuff to do still. We're getting all the pictures up, getting everything processed, getting everything merchandised, getting the store all set up. Uh, everybody has just come into town, so we're just kind of going crazy. I'm feeling a little bit better. My memory's coming back bit by bit. I feel like I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things, you know, feeling normal again. I mean, it's a few days to go. Tensions are running high, but because uh, we have a lot to do, but I think we got it. We always get it done. Oh, that's from the gallery. Oh! <laughs> yeah, but what about originally? <laughs> Yo, Adam, where, where's the fucking vacuum? I just asked you for it. You just gotta roll it slow. Have you never rolled a rack before? Or? This one's just janky. Come on, dude. Try rolling it for a sec. I don't want you to think it's all just me. Like, per usual. Oh, yeah, you don't know how to push a rack. No, I, got you. I do. Just wanted to I help. Just I just want help maneuvering in here so it doesn't always fall. Thank you. It takes two vintage people to push her out. That's cool. Like, well, now you pissed me off. Uh, some of this shit should go somewhere. Okay. I don't even know where to put this. It's all like vintage stuff. Dude, our Mercedes stuff came in. The hoodie or the crew next in it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. About to fucking freak out. Get out of the way for a sec. I did not want it to tip over, so. Yeah.
the Metacom Dunk. Has a little Burberry logo right there. The thing about it is they're not yellowed. Every time you find these shoes, they're either really worn or really yellowed. 94. It has good character to it, as people would say. That's the Chicago colorway, so it's kind of cool if somebody's gonna come up on these. So when I was doing inventory, I was just like, wait, we don't have any Sean's in stock. So Luke was in VA and he's just like, oh, we have like four or five. He's like, I'm gonna steal some. And he stole four pairs. It's been a while since I've been in the spotlight, Graham. You gotta, you gotta bear with me. Wizard of Oz sweatshirt that you don't really see too often. Full print and this 80s clockwork orange t-shirt. Summer. Actually super good. Who's your favorite Batman, Wayne? Favorite Batman? Oh, uh, oh, almost said Heath Ledger. Christian Bale. Not a doubt. That's the worst Batman. Best Batman. Best Batman's, Batman's Clooney or Affleck. That's my main gripe with Batman. That's that's Luke's goal. He's like a diesel Elon Musk. <laughs> Been pretty much setting up pictures for the last fucking 72 hours. <sighs> not happy about it. Just kidding. No, it's not bad. It's not bad, but my back's really giving out. My knees are cracking every time I stand up. I think it means I'm getting old. I mean, my butt's really giving out on me. This is the one. This is also the one. Oh shit, this actually might be. Harry. And the ODB, of course. That's always the crazy thing about like opening a new store is we just go based off of what sells best in the other stores and then we see how it goes. And from there we come to it. This Ghostbusters T is great. This teacher strike one is sick because the teachers are literally, or this is teacher, Chicago Teachers Union, but the teachers are on strike right now. So it's kind of cool. What up? Yeah, I'll come, I'll do that pick in a sec. But yeah, it's really the goal is just to have the store completely done by the end of tonight. It'd be nice just to have like a day to kind of chill and then like really perfect the store without the pressure being like, fuck, are we gonna be done in time? It's kind of crazy. I was going through stuff that we sent to here and I was like, oh my gosh. Cause I remember when I found that, like whatever piece it is and then sent it out here and I'm like, holy shit, I forgot that we've been prepping for this store that long. I got a peek at the Pope in 79 in Chicago. I love these 80s shirts. We were pretty proud of the selection of them we put together. They're in this like category of shirts for me that I feel like are beyond perfect because it's like the type of shirt that you see like re like you see this like kind of wear like recreated at like Urban Outfitters, you know. It's gotta be the most valuable type of vintage shirt, the ones that are that look like they aren't even vintage, you know? It just looks too perfect. New phone, who this? Who graphics and us? It's really crazy, like. Yeah. Wow, mini iMac. Yo, does anyone know where the pant hangers are? Uh, Graham will show you where the pant hangers are. We had to get them out of the way earlier. You show Graham. Oh, that's the one we're at. All right. Figure this out. Here you go. Dump them on. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. Regular stuff. Yo, I got pen hangers. Having Luke, Chris, and Sean here is definitely crazy just because they're never together anymore. So it's kind of fire. Luke, Luke's been a little off. Have you guys noticed that? He's been very weird. More odd than usual. So Luke finally showed up, uh, but he's a little bit weird. It's not the normal Luke that I know. He seems to be a little daisy and uh, he can't really get his mind right. I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Hmm. You fucking poor Parker. You left my car so it's hanging out too much and the garage door couldn't go down so it scratched the back of the thing. Where? On the car. You didn't pull it in far enough and the garage door hit it. <laughs> Luke walked away and hit the thing. He's like, yep, hit it. Endless amounts. Endless. The most product we've ever had. It's crazy. I'm like, I'm drowning in product. No, I think
going on? Round two, Chicago. We here, baby. Gang, gang. Ready for opening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Round two, baby. It's good. So Luke flew out a couple weeks ago, and uh, me and him did all the interviews. I think we did like between 70 and 80 interviews. I'm really excited to see how all the crew that we picked from all those 70 or 80 people turns out. You know, we've had good people, we've had bad people in the past, so I'm excited to see how everybody works out and uh, see everybody's strengths. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 You're doing the same. Nick um, too. At the end of the day, you know, this is a customer service job and our customer service is what I feel like separates us from every other store, especially the ones that try to do what we do. So it's super important to like, you know, the sh especially because the show, like people kind of, round two is an experiential thing for a lot of people who come into the store. And they um, have this idea of it mm -hmm. and like how it should be. And Every single person who walks through that door needs to be greeted by everyone who's working. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Like, just talk to them, you know, compliment what they're wearing, if you like what they're wearing. Do half the group kind of learn computer stuff? The other half, I'll like kind of show them inventory, how to get other sides of shoes and everything like that. If you want to do that, that's fine. All right, cool. But we can go over that now. I'm actually going to give everybody a shoe to go find. Uh, I'm going to give you this one. Actually, I'm going to give everybody two shoes. Where do we set these? Go give me the one for 30 the seconds. Go! Oh. Go get the match. Yeah. I'm going to walk them through because I'm going to show them how everything's organized down there. Jordans all around this whole bend here. It goes up by size. Kid size starts over here, down to 11, 12. 13s, 14s are gonna be on here. SVs back here, Nike runners behind you. What do we got here? Wow, first one done. Looking promising so far. Yeah, do you need any help? So we're Jordan 10s. Jordan 10, 7Y. Yep, you're good. Look, back. size 13. Size 14. Training time. I wish it was closing time, but it's not for another hour or so. What you got? Where are our numbers at? <laughs> Let me see the front. You're live. Put it back. Boom. Oh, you're live. You're good. Put it That's back. Good. Jordan's are the hardest to. Uh, oh, only, chip car only chip cards. No swiping. Really? Yeah. Oh, sick. PlayStation sure I did the picture either. Welcome, welcome. Like crazy. So uh, Aaron, you kind of work here, but not. What does that mean? Because you work at our partners on the West Coast. Wow, uh, uh, I can't help. I guess someone's supposed to be in your store. Hang what stuff? Hang the, how are you doing? What? Good. Hang the Nike crew necks and hoodies mm -hmm. um, and put them on these two racks and then we're going to wheel them over to in this hallway. So the outer one is actually going to be on this rack. Yes. Nice gloves, Adam. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Adam Peace to you guys. See you later. See you later. Cool. Uh, See you guys. Have a good one. Where? Where? On that beam. Oh! I'm looking for a Pang Ting here in Chicago, right? Front or back? Back. Back. Front or back? <laughs> Shut up, yeah. This might rip down the whole wall. So annoying, Graham. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, where you could literally get away with murder. It's taller, so I'll walk up the ladder. Dude, crazy that it's uh, done in here. Wow. I can't believe it only took us one day to do all this. The TV pulled out, though, otherwise it would sell. Fuck their East Coast dabs. They're not better than us. Help Adam, help Adam bring in all these boxes of stuff that I freaking ordered. Yeah, right. I'm trying to do it yet, yeah, but. 
I'm gonna make Adam bring them all in and tell him that I'll give him a crew neck. This is from our uh, Mercedes collab. Yo, Adam, you mind bringing them all the way to the back? He's really mad right now. There's a lot of boxes. Hopefully it's all gonna sell today. Tomorrow. Wow, not today. On strike, baby, strikes out. I'm walking away from you in a circle. Here, do you take the goddamn DJ Khaled butter? Follow my voice, 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 voice. <laughs> that's not mine, that's Sean's. You wanna see the new hottest shit or what? Yeah, so, we're here talking to this. Been working on a collab with uh, Vendever's Auto House and Mercedes Benz for the last couple months. Just got in the first crew necks from it. Bada boom, bada bing. Mercedes, the Vendever's Auto House. And the round two on the sleeve. Three colors of this, and I think four or five different shirts with like two or three colors each. A hundred of each piece, all drop in here for the opening. Then we're gonna do a whole separate drop in LA with a bunch of uh, vintage Mercedes gear that I've been curating for the last couple months too. So I'm hyped to do that. We'll probably do that in like a month or so. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is the good one. Where's the hood on it? Whoa, Dude. a little forceful with the hand. I didn't, no, I didn't see it a razor blade. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever. <laughs> Good thing I have my hand like this. Yeah, yeah, like push like My that. bad, I'll just try to grab my nipple. I will if you want. Cut it off, I don't need it. Toss me an XL. I've evolved away from it. This one's good. What size is that? It's, it's a fucking XL. Russo piece if I've ever seen one. <laughs> well, the I'll swallow my accent. You done? There you go, frame. You got your footage over here. <laughs> kind of freaking out. Oh, it's supposed to be a paper bag, isn't it? How you doing, Bears? Good. How are you, Adam? Good. Hey. You want me to do anything with this? The only one who's lifting shit around. Oh! Ow! Adam! Adam! Help really? me! Help! Help! Did that hurt? Help! Help! Yo, you got a double box, Chris, or you're just wasting time. Just going in the bathroom. Or, is Mace well, Nobody filming in the bathroom? Modern Sober Variety wanted to see the bathroom to see what we're working with. Anybody that we should know? I have not shown this. Oh, we're pride shut. Chris, you gonna do anything? No. Yo, Adam. <laughs> do you know who's here? Modern Spod? <laughs> Fucking Spodern's Caniety. Good to meet you, Jose. What's going on? Derek. Good to meet you, Derek. Hi. Hi, Katie. Look. Nice to meet you. There you go. He's going to jump. I'm going to catch him. Adam, I might need help. <laughs> <laughs> he survived. Oh, wow. Uh, Modern Notoriety is the first sneaker streetwear platform in the Midwest. We started in 2010. Sneaker releases, streetwear, hype, memes, music, culture, just everything that makes up this entire industry for the most part. Ah, I'm so proud. Uh, yeah. Getting this store done. All right, guys, uh, with stores in Richmond, Hollywood, New York, South Beach, what made opening a store in Chicago the next logical step? Um, we kind of look at social media at this point. We like see where people are like commenting like, oh, we need a store here, we need a store there. Previous to this, he was in like the South Beach store a lot. Luke's in a New York store, I'm in LA. Uh, our like manager and VA is always like, you know, relaying things to us, but we just hear what people are talking about. They're like, yo, I'm here from I'm here from Chicago, we need a store so bad. You know, like et cetera, et cetera. And just from hearing that for like years, we're like, okay. 
Chicago's gotta be next, like only makes sense, you know? So. Yeah, and, and geographically it makes sense because we kind of have like stores on both the coasts, so it's nice to have something in the middle now. Yeah. That kind of just like finally unifies it all. We're not like so far away from for each sure. other. It kind of just like creates one band across. It's getting nice. easier for people to access us, yeah. which is kind of cool. I, uh, I also think, you know, Chicago is like one of the few cities that has like a very strong culture into like what we super, do. Yeah. So like we're super happy to come here and like kind of tap into that and like give that some shine. This was like where the Jordan era like really flourished, you know what I mean? I feel like there was a lot of stuff that was going on in the 80s, 90s. That is is why our world even exists for us to be able to sell vintage and stuff. And so to be here and kind of like the birthplace of it, it's pretty sick, honestly. So all that together, Chicago yeah. was a good decision. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots of reasons, yeah. lots and lots of reasons. This is gonna be our merch store. So this is gonna be where we have all the round two brand. We have this obsession with AstroTurf. So we just want to do like all turf walls, just kind of just turf it out. We'll have all the merch hang similar to this. Kind of just like sporadically collage about the space. Shop the, shop the contemporary goods here. Walk into the back. We got the round two stuff. Shall we go up to Sears to Vintage? Yes. This is the hallway to Vintage up here. Our second floor, our only store with the second floor. Like, Mickey Mouse, Disney, cartoon, animation type stuff, straight into sportswear, Nike. And then it goes into TV, movie, and film, our favorite category. It's the best. Like, I know you're thinking in your heads right now, you're like, oh, like, this movie, that movie, this show, that show. You know what we really want is an Even Stevens t-shirt, or a Seventh Heaven, like, original, you know? Never find them. It's sick, but. So yeah, we put the whole thing together like that. Everything's got its own section. This is like Polo, Guess, Tommy. This is all music, um, Harley Davidson, cigarette tees, beer shirts. This is all the crazy, crazy up here. <laughs> Mac, um, nice to meet you. JC, I'm lucky JC. Pickles here, Wicker Park, born and raised. There we go. Yeah, we gotta get uh, some kind of thinking on here. Me and Luke were thinking round two stickers maybe, or? Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, we definitely do. We don't want them seeing the ugly in there. <laughs> Welcome, hello, hello. How are you? That's what I was telling. That's what I want for Christmas. Yeah, that'd be amazing. What a gift. Um, wow, that's sick. You made it. Yeah. Wow, that's really dope. I love that. Wow, that's sick. That's amazing. So that's that's really cool. cool. Obviously, that's the coordinates. Dang, that's tight. That's really cool. Yo, Thanks. Why don't we ever that's think awesome. Use the coordinates on our shirts and stuff. I don't know. You guys just inspired a whole clothing line. Yeah, we have a design now. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Alan, what's up, Alan? Thank you, Mom. I love you. That's really cool. I love it. That actually be perfect. Yeah, right? You know, thanks for driving in here. <laughs> yo, Luke, good sticker job. You really filled these windows up. Get into it, bro. I was like, yo, Luke, what I need done is this all full. And this is what Luke did. Piece of shit. Dude, if, <laughs> if I had to be quiet. Later, guys. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for See you tomorrow. What? You guys are Oh, it's back? It's back! Look at it. Check it out. We've been doing that. Let us go shoot this Mercedes Benz stuff with some Mercedes Benzes. Graham, did you want to roll it to do that? Or. Okay, cool. Good man, good. Smooth, quick. Got some nice uh, overcast. Best to shoot in overcast. Not too sunny. Gorilla. The weather feels crisp. I kind of want to go grab a pumpkin and carve it. Dance. Me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yeah. Bob, some might apples. Have to, might have to carve right, a, right, a, right, a, right upon it. Oh man, I love it. That's awesome. All right, so are we done with all these? Yeah, it should be good. I tuck them back away. Too. Thank oh, you so Brett, much Brett, for Brett. doing it. I would love to do anything I can. Bro, let's fucking build, man. I just want to I'm build. down. I'm super down. I just want friends. Now we're here. Yo, I, <laughs> That's all I value, bro. Yo, I, fucking friends. I feel the same. <laughs> okay. Yo, round two opening. We came all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and. We're ready for this store to open. Chicago's been waiting for this, so 
really happy, really excited. I've been watching the show me forever since literally episode one. So I'm like, I'm fanboying right now. Like I'm just holding it all in, like super excited. Ready to brave the night. You said it best, Graham. Should be fun. Movie. So he was jumping. He was jumping on the uh, G wagon. Oh dang! <laughs> Definitely excited about the vintage story too. That's cool how you guys have like two stories. Cause like I've never like I don't know any story that's ever done that, especially like resale story. So. Doing all kinds of buys. Last minute. This, this is, is so sick. sweet, dude. Yeah, you got a lot of really good yeah. stuff. Um, I'm gonna get a trash rag to put this stuff in from Buffalo Exchange. Wow. We should take these home to another store and see if one of our employees buys them off of us. Wow, way better idea. Yo, I'm coming to New York with this chud. <laughs> and y'all gonna buy it off of me. What's your deal? Stay warm tonight. Um, hopefully, we can wait it out. I might try to grab some Sean's, trade up for some Sean's uh, vintage tees. Yeah, honestly, like right up to the vintage right away, grab what I want, and then come back down, check out some shoes, go from there. Definitely. I'm gonna cop some Nike sweaters, some bulls. When I was serving in the army, you know, overseas and stuff, I would just watch a lot of YouTube and stuff when I had Wi Fi. And round two just kind of is the store that got me into, you know, the vintage clothing and the shoes and everything. and. I've been praying since, you know, I started watching those videos to have them open a store in Chicago. And I remember recently I saw a video and Sean was talking. He said, Chicago's the next one. Been waiting ever since. And, you know, right here in Wicker Park, this is the best place. You know, you got St. Alfred's, Adidas, you know, you got all the big stores. And now round two is just going to be another one of those stores like leaders and success that's going to be synonymous with Chicago culture and streetwear and fashion. So it's, it's all just really exciting to see. Had to survive some, you know, vehicular incidents going on last night. It ain't nothing though. We made it through. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Welcome. Finally popped on my Sean Weatherspoon's on. Finally the time. We made it through. Uh, the birds. The birds, dude. The vintage Star Wars hats. <laughs> Just some Nike tees. Good, man. You know, brace the cold for a little bit, but uh, we're ready for round two. Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> but I camped for like 10 hours. Like some hype gear, but hype like functional gear, you know? What's up, Graham? Been watching the show for four years now. I'm going in there. Hopefully, you get a Grateful Dead uh, shirt. That's what I'm doing, man. Oh, I've been commenting on the Instagram. I've come to Chicago for so long. It finally happened. Oh, I came here like 1.30 last night. Came from a party. Yeah, I came from a party. Like, we came from two parties. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling so happy because I see this line. It's so long. We're like right in the front because this is yeah, a long line. Like good time. Um, kind of came to say maybe. Looking for Air Force Ones. Shout out the boys. Appreciate you guys opening a store out here. Came after you on Thug. About to get some Chrome Hearts, maybe some Babe. Bro, man, I come from like 40 minutes away, all of us. Yeah. Like, it's like an Elgin. We've been following the show since like the beginning, the yeah. way beginning. I thought you guys were going to open here before Miami, but y'all didn't. Kind of hurt. Here, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I came to yeah, emotionally like, support. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from Indiana, I'm mean, looking for that Mitch's John Coltrane shirt. I'm trying to see if I can get that. Or something warm. I'm freezing my ass off right now. It's 4 a.m. So I'm shivering. I'm just trying to sell some vintage stuff and then probably grab some vape teas. From Indianapolis, it's a three hour drive. I've been here since four. I'm looking for the Witherspoon, you know, gotta support Sean. Yeezys and sample, get something nice. If not, uh, it's my boy's birthday, so see what happens. Get some samples going. Hopefully, you guys these will be sold. 
My plan, I'm, I'm gonna get a vape hoodie. I've been waiting here since 4 a.m. Got some old Supreme, got some old vintage, you know, just trying to get some Cactus Jack ones. Uh, hopefully a box logo or some vintage Nike. Wicked Park, I'm here with the guys. <laughs> what Park, up, Graham? Oh what up? What up? What hey, up? He's my man's fit. Bro, he's got the full, <laughs> the full Sean, Sean fit. Dude. He's got the Sean out the, the shoe, toe. You the see pants, the, the shirt, the That's his Halloween costume right there. <laughs> the I'm Sean Halloween. Wallace for Halloween. You heard you. Ready to shop, ready to cash out where we can get steals and deals. That's how we do it. Cold as hell. I've been here since like 6 in the morning. So. I live like around the neighborhood. I live like 15 minutes from here. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. Like, we've been watching, oh, I've been watching the show, so it's he, like, for a we've minute. Been for a while. We've been waiting for a while. Like, <laughs> you know, we don't got this in Indiana, so it's definitely going to be way worth in Chicago. Round two grand opening, coming all the way from Minneapolis. Shout out Urban Jungle. You know how it goes. I need the off white Chicago ones. I need those. Hey, I've been following since 2014. I get some of the vintage. We got some of the Nine Inch Nails and Nirvana stuff, man. I'm hoping to scoop some of that, too. Coming from Kenosha, uh, my boy just got a job here, so we're here to support him as well. Uh, been out here since 7 this morning, so. Wisconsin, shout out Tommy for getting the job. Just here to cop all the merch, man. He's good, Jameis from Kenosha. Here for three reasons. One, to buy, two, to meet Sean, and three, to support the boy Tommy Majusa. Yo, from Battle Creek, Michigan, Austin Layman. Just coming here to cop some fire Jurassic Park. You know, shout out 2096 store. I'm Brianna, I'm from Chicago, and I'm here to get, buy some vintage and give Sean these pair of pants. Yeah, my brother and I have just been watching it forever. <laughs> I'm just here for the fun. Awesome. Can I do it? I'm the paper boy. He's so ready to duel. Yeah. I'm ready for some dueling. Yeah. And deals. <laughs> you got some cards? Like, yeah. Let's do it. Before I go, yeah. yeah. Hey, shout out to Zach Fontaine. <laughs> Zach, if you're watching this, hello. I'm them. <laughs> hey, I'm Josh. I'm from Downers Grove. I'm here to just pick up some shit and just have some fun. I'm really excited for the storage. Um, I'm here to like check out the vintage, maybe pick up a Vintage Selena t-shirt. for Chicago, and I'm really just here for a crew neck. That's all I want. Uh, I'm Patrick, I'm from the Burbs. Uh, I'm looking for a round two puffy jacket and some vintage. From Carmel, Indiana, <laughs> C's up. Shout out John Livermore for Councilman, <laughs> District 2. That's it, that's, that's it. it, that's it. I'm Bailey. I'm, I'm from, Jake. I'm from Minnesota, we both go to Purdue. Yeah, I'm just coming to get some round two merch. That's it. Merch. Gotta come to the opening. What's up, man? Shout out uh, Naptown Thrift, shout out Vintage Culture, uh, Around the Block, New Vintage, Indie Boys. Probably like a windbreaker or something. Mythic Drive from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, Grand Rapids, Michigan, just checking out the store. Came to buy some Supreme from Southside, shorty. Now we bumming. I don't know. Hopefully, you find some things that uh, I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, welcome to Chicago, guys. And I'm here to see what I get, man. I mean, I feel like there's some steals in there, so. Dennis Rodman jacket. Uh, I'm looking for the, the Michael Myers one. <laughs> Just came here for like throwing too much. Uh, Indiana. Southern Indiana. Yeah. All the way at the bottom. In the corn stalks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, cops from Retro One. My heart is broken today. If I don't get no Travis Scott for us. You got him signed. You got him signed. Trying to get a signature from Mr. Sean himself. I'm just gonna cash out. I got all those items, bro. I got lasers, milk crate, SBs, bro. It's gonna go crazy. Uh, look around. Maybe you get some jumps. So we're gonna buy some Supreme. No, I'm from France, actually. Maybe we're gonna get some SB dunks. Some different something. I have lots of these. And what's today? My birthday. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Humphrey. I come from Wyoming. I'm looking to sell some of the items I hear I have here today. Chillin'. Come from Logan Square. You know, just looking to sell some off white. Maybe cop some. I'm validating house arrest for this. <laughs> Fraud cases. Can't do shit. Just to see the store, maybe Casa Supreme. You know, it's your boy Atlas Quest. Try the Mercedes thing. I'm coming from Iowa City, Iowa. You know, go Hawkeyes, but shout out my boy Charlie Eastman for putting me on to round two. My name's Gage from Iowa City. Just gonna cop some vintage. Uh, buy nothing because I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check out the vintage, sell some shoes. We're from Indiana. We just came out to check out the merch, see if they got any cool graphic tees or some nice shoes. 
from the northwest side of the city. Can I get some Bulek Chanel and some vintage anime? What up, from Ohio, uh, looking for designer stuff. What's up, I'm from Chicago, I'm here just to check out Ron too. Aaron from Chicago, come and see how y'all coming. I'm Jay Lon from Minnesota, man. I'm out here trying to look for some Jordan one. Sherwan from Leesburg, just moved to Chicago, looking for the Cactus Jack one. I'm from Chicago, I'm just coming to sell some stuff. Follow me on uh, Instagram and Depop. Thank you, Merch Guy. Specialized in horror and rock tees. Hit the environment, just to see what I can get. Like, like 10 minutes ago, yep. less than that. <laughs> What's up, Graham? Uh, I'm just trying to get another winter jacket. Try to get some new stuff, sell some stuff, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to see if they have like some like, some like decent like OG, like vape stuff. Maybe it's like some Supreme jackets. See what kind of shoes they have. Like your shoulder, like. Yes, sir. Grand opening day. Grand opening day. It's crazy. Big things. Big things out here. Bad gums, bro. Got some bits. You were ready to hang the Picasso. Yeah. We're ready. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Adam, should you come up the ladder a little bit? Yeah. What's up, Graham? It's good. Opening day. Good. Hectic. It's a lot of employees in one place at one time. It's a lot to take care of. Are you the last vintage employee down here? Probably opening, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna edit this, Graham. Maybe you're putting this at the end of the day. It's hard to tell. But right now, we're about to open the store. Technically five minutes, probably like 15, 20. 11-ish every day. Not 11 a.m., 11-ish. The round two tradition. One person who's just gonna be running the whole time. Does anyone want to volunteer for that? Like running shoes, running product? No, that's good. Okay. With the shoes, just always match them. Be really careful. But just always match them. Oh, no! Can't be perfect every time. We can come close. Run to baby. We got the merch. So the merch. The Chicago exclusive. Okay. That's gonna be a good seller. All the Mercedes gear. Personal favorite. The crew neck right there. It's pretty limited. Yeah, this room should be sick. Everyone's looking right now. It's kind of weird. We're, getting, we're, we're trying to be invisible, but being stared at by like everybody right yeah. now. It's like the craziest feeling. It's kind of crazy with this like side window. Like not used to this. All the like uh, the exposure here. It's yeah, like I can't blow it up. So much light. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> this is what it's like to be a K-pop band. <laughs> I feel famous. Traded in the Kith Chimeras, ended up getting a brand new pair, Doran Becker 12s with the box. They're priced at $250, super good price. Go check out upstairs too. Yo! This is the first thing I wanted, dude. I can't tell you how many people were hitting us up asking for yeah, this shirt sure, the, the first thing I wanted. 50 bucks, not too bad. I really like it because it's like the sticker you guys had. I'm gonna try to go down and see if there's any chrome parts down upstairs and then you pay that good trading, so we can shop. Let's do Star Wars hats. I already have the third one. It's one of the coolest stores on earth, y'all. You know what we had to do? The biggie, front and back. These guys. Shout out to round two. Got this uh, round two vintage upstairs, second floor. I got these downstairs. That's the that's the best thing about Chicago. Two stores in one. Twenty five hundred. I did, I did. I traded a bunch of stuff. I, I run a shop in Minneapolis, so I got a bunch of stuff from there. So pretty chill. Shout out Urban Jungle again, man. Crazy, like this isn't just a one-time day thing. Like this is here, like a permanent store, man. Like Chicago really needed this, man. We really did. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm just happy, you know, to see finally round two. Crazy selection. I've never seen this in my life. Man, it's double sided. I love this, man. This is a gray out right here. Red ones in my size are kind of hard to get. Like good price and good size, so like straight for the feet. Live together, play together. Fire graphic. And then the backpack. This is a, I, I love this backpack. There's a Patagonia fleece. And I copped what I came here for, the windmill. 
and just the bends. And then I cashed out on some Travis Scott 6. Let's see. That's 600? Okay. Right, Wait a couple hours for this t-shirt, bro. Of course, dude. Remember playing this shit when I was like fucking 12 years old, 10 years old. Perfect. It's about to rain. Chicago weather. You know, gotta get used to it. You guys gotta get used to it. I'm used to it. Uh, I see a couple things on the wall, man. I'm uh, looking for the Poetic Justice casting crew jacket. This is the slam dunk contest right here, the trench coat. Rare, there's two different versions. This one's the rare one, so. Got violence. Classic Marilyn Manson. The one and only. I'm buying birthday presents for the fam. Jordan, the single greatest player of all time. Cubs and some Bears merch. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. And Team Nike. Team Nike. The Jordan Nike T. Classic. You got the Space Jam T. Got uh, Jordan Magic. And the Steakhouse. Big basketball fan. Huge basketball fan. What's good? It's your boy Q, Q the Flu. Chicago, round two, shout out. You know, it's all about Chicago, man. Got the wraparound benches, 90s, white socks, T. For those yellow fair guys, especially for those. And then it's the hot item right here. That wraparound starter Bears joint. Go especially well with the Jess Don drill, you know. It's fire, we might have to put these on today. Shout out to round two. 2001, 2002, long sleeve. That's exactly what I came for, man. You know we gotta show love to the city. Chicago White Sox. Got the chill out vintage cheap. Chicago Blackhawks. You dig? Poetic justice, man. Spike Lee joint. Crazy. Lovely hints on it, man. I would love to trade my cast and crew for his cast and crew if that's possible. We'll see. Damn, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that probably is the most we pay is like maybe six in store credit. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, because man, fuck, it kills me to even like. I've never seen another one since I had my green one. It's been ten years since I bought it. Really? Ten years since I bought it and haven't seen another one. Yeah. How much is that jacket at? The poetic eight hundred. Like I said. You got anything else you'd add on top or like? Would you like? Would you add? Five. Random um, stuff in here, man. Did you Prince of Egypt? Yeah. Dream works, little hints on the back. Not too bad. I don't know. Would you do these? Or trade for it? Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. Down if you're down. Man, I hate to see that jacket leave, but I hate, I hate to see that Martin jersey, leaves, so it's kind of like, crazy. fuck it, you know? Ah, uh, okay, tight. Okay, That's we're crazy. Down, we're down. I appreciate you, man. Want me to go grab it for you? Yeah. Just was able to trade this, my man, Sean, man. The cast and crew, very, very exclusive. Nike. Yeah, he said he uh, was luckily able to get the uh, lime green version that the lady that uh, worked for Martin and everything was able to give to him. So, trading this with Van Halen, the Prince of Egypt, for a highly coveted poetic justice check. Man, I'm very happy about it. Can't complain at all. Man. Crazy. That is insane. There it goes. Excel, man. Enjoy. Uh, it, that's you too. You'll be able to wear it. Like, if we wear this, that's sick, man. I'm probably gonna take this off right now. Wear it now, honestly. I'm gonna scoop this Martin tonight. This is crazy. You say you're gonna do what? I might have to scoop this up. Scoop it. Yeah, you might as well, man. Yeah. Just seeing someone wear it is like, man. Damn, it really fits you well. It's not really. Hard. Enjoy, I love it, man. I appreciate you. My sister showed me this move. I have six sisters. And one of them particularly showed me this movie, and I was kind of head over heels over the fact that Tupac was in it in a way, because I was kind of growing my infatuation for music. Um, but yeah, Poetic Justice, um, Janet Jackson, everything. It's really definitely a historic movie, man. I love it. Yeah, I got you. This one? Happy B Day, dude. Thank you. This was up. And I put this one back. Got you. Got you. You mean whole agent for you the counter? You good? Got you and the shirt? Uh, thank you. No problem. God, what is good, What's dude? Good, bro? Damn, it's I know, right? How are you? Are you? I'm good, bro. It's ah. good. It's so great to see you. You got the merch thing. Okay, okay, okay. I know. Didn't get my Travis's, but got a supreme piece for me. 
Got a little gift from our little friend. Oh, uh, the tank was priced at 140, I think. 150. It's pretty cheap for like this. Yeah, I got the round two plus, like plus jacket, and then I got some vintage. Grab this Nike, this World Cup shirt, old Nike crew neck. <laughs> got some purple their Mercedes on. Got a rough round too. Yeah, we're excited that you guys are finally out here in Chicago. All right, uh, you know we got the Stone Island Supreme collab for under retail. You know, two fifty. Ninety fours, Chicago ones. First purchase. It's a car. Yeah. This is joy. For sure. Sure. Over like how camp many out. hours? Camp out buddies. <laughs> what a memorable night. For real. For sure. Hope I see you guys around. Yeah. For sure, bro. That's good. Nice. Yeah. It's round two. You meet a bunch of new people every day when you come here, so it's a fucking I love the experience. I love it. This is my uh, I'm gonna wear this all the time in the spring when it gets nice out. Alright, went up to the vintage. We'll start with the first joint, Batman. Batman and Robin. Was sticking out, nobody grabbed it. Surprise. So I had to get it. Robin joint. No bad kid, but it's still clean. Now I'm from Rockford, Illinois. Most familiar with uh, Virgil, Avril, you know, he's from there. So we just mostly drive up to Chicago to buy this stuff. We got a couple spots in Rockford, but it's still cool. But <laughs> had to protect the Travises from the rain, bro. They still got fucked up, though. About to get in now. I mean, you guys got to do. See you, bro. Yeah, just like oh, we'll We're all right. <laughs> well, we're all right. It's worth it. Yeah, we've been to LA, New York, and now we're here finally. Yeah, we living. We about to get in. We ready. We ready. A little over two hours. Welcome to Chicago. Start in Virginia, LA, New York, Miami. Best city in the world. <laughs> That's not even the. This we started when we were way yeah. back there. It's it was yeah. This was like the halfway point. Yeah, I mean, like, you see it, like, we cold, we freezing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's gross. But, I mean, this ain't the first time I waited in line, so I can do it. Oh, Hospitality. Pretty sick. I don't know. They're my favorite team, so. Had to get it. I got lucky. That's what, that's what you guys. Get the Jason mix. I'm a horror collector. I collect everything horror related, so. Got a friend's t shirt, too. My favorite TV show of all time. Stussy Babe collab, man. Yes, sir. Had to get that, you know. Yes, sir. Definitely a piece of grab, man. Shout out to Round 2. Yeah, hell yeah. Been shopping with him in LA. All type of shit, bro. Been fucking with y'all for a minute, man. Appreciate y'all coming to the city. Uh, so, found some V Loan stuff. Hard to find here in Chicago, and then a uh, off-white V-Lung collab. Travis Scott, Asher World from Madison Square Garden. It's Jay Mack, Indiana Zone. Um, we at the Round 2 Chicago Grand Opening. Uh, shout out to everybody that's affiliated with Round 2 and this great uh, milestone. I'm here to cash out on the Freddies. It's all here. The pair that I'm buying used to be one of my friends. So I'm just bringing it back to the crib, honestly. Damn, they're gone. They're gone, the Freddies. Which flag was it? 45. These used to belong to me. Saw them to the store. Because I was broke. As soon as Chris was like, bro, you see them Freddies on the page? I said, I'm fine. You from Indianapolis too? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Jay Mack. Look, good to meet you. Nice seeing you. Thank you for coming in, man. I'll we'll see you again soon, all right? Keep running. Thank Take care of you. The item has been taken. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's been a tough couple of weeks for me. I don't really remember what's been happening. And, but then last night, Sean pulled out this black trash bag and I started to remember stuff. It like triggered something. And like, I just, I think I know what happened. Uh, this whole place used to be a restaurant before. It's the first time we ever went from restaurant to retail. So it's taken us probably six months of trying to get everything out, convert it and all that. The only thing that we didn't take out was the kitchen doors, the swinging doors. 
and uh, they had windows in them, which worked very well. Sean decided to put stickers over them, which made them not work at all, and uh, it's become quite a problem for us now. Oh, bro, you good? All right, man. Pretty cold out here, though. About two hours. It's worth it. It's worth it, though. It's worth it. Oh my God. Why? Is there heat in there? Like, not heat, heat, but like air. It's been an hour out here, bro. It's cold. What's up, Graham? Welcome to Chicago, bro. This is cold, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is outstanding. Good time. <laughs> Shout out to this uh, Chicago weather. Really uh, adds to the environment, I think. Yeah. What if? What would we have to do to like get inside? Because I have a women's poncho that would look fabulous on you. You're from Chicago. I drew from the country to be here. <laughs> drew. But we're really excited to be here. Is Nash here? Do you know? Gotta love it, right? Chicago, baby. <laughs> What's up, man? Pizza, hey, pizza the beanies though. You got the matching beanies on. <laughs> Making it. I don't know. Some Green Day cheese, maybe, if applicable. Had to take off the jacket. Yeah. Rain uh, went through the jacket and went through my shirt, so I can't move my hands right now, but I'm here. This is a nice Chicago Bulls. I really like the color of it. The font on it is really what I like, so. This box logo, I think it's sick, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to like save my money, because that Ryan 2 Mercedes Benz is pretty good, so. So much good shit here. So. And I mean, Chicago's showing mad love. It's tight. I really love it. It's, it's kind of crazy. So, vintage Bucked Bunny shirt with the Taz. Got some distressing, you know, looks sick. So, yeah. Nice Nike tee right here. Budweiser, King of Beers. There you go. Not my favorite. Nice radio to go with it, man. Well, AM radio. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. I got this Nike crew neck, man. And the fuck says backwards. Can't find that anywhere else. Round two. I'm from Richmond, so when the first store opened, I got this shirt, so six, seven years ago. Yeah, I mean, like, I've realized, like, this shirt is the one shirt, like, that nobody, like, I ever, I never see people with, so, like, I had to wear it, had to support. So. Yeah, I got the round two. Probably seen this one already. And then I picked up some Mason Margellas around here in Chicago. I'm from Chicago suburbs, but I decided to wake up early in the morning, come here. Got this uh, vintage uh, Bulls crew neck here. I'm from Minnesota, so I, I go to school here, so I had to pick up some Bulls stuff. Got this Metallica shirt. Pretty sick, I like the wash. Hot me. Fantastic. Damn. Yeah, we've been to LA, we've been to New York. Um, now we gotta get to Richmond and Miami, of course, so. I wanted the khaki ones, but they were sold out. Yeah, with the red heart. Yeah, this shit's hard. Chicago, greatest city in the world. Vintage, I've been collecting since 2010. My sister introduced me to the game, and ever since, it's, it's been different for me. It's been it's been a blessing. This, this, this culture and this lifestyle saved my life. Chicago has really shown us a lot of love. Baby Bob! It's a very good feeling. Um, definitely the cartoon stuff has been popping crazy, which is good because we have a ton of it. Uh, and also the TV movie section is going off. So, have to get back to LA quick, pick a ton of stuff, send it right back okay. in. Is that it? ASAP. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. Uh, Barney's execution. So, yeah. I like really weird, non conventional, like vintage y stuff. So, that rack there, like to the left, is my favorite. It has all the smiley face stuff, the art tees, like the weird, just like travel tees. I'm really into that stuff. So, that's like my favorite. This is my guy right here. Tell him how far you came. Where do you come from? I came from Milwaukee. It was like an hour and a half on the train. And then I went to my cousin's house. And it was like an hour train ride to get to. Wicker Park, and then we waited in line three hours to get in. For all the people that care about this kind of thing, here's the tag. You never so, like, see like this, a parody like, of Barney. I found on one on Instagram, and I like messaged him, and he was like, "No, it's sold to this guy." And then I messaged that guy. Was it a green crew neck too? No, it wasn't a green see, crew neck. It was just like a white shirt wow. with like Barney getting so hit that, over the that's head. That's what makes this one even more special. It's yeah, it's like, like Juno. So I have Juno. Give like a Snoop Dogg vibe, bro. Up here, no. I love dogs, and I especially love Rottweilers. Yeah, it's it's so fucking good. 
Is all the stuff you thrifted for the most part? Or? Bins or actual? Bins. Uh, we're from Indiana, Northwest Indiana. Yeah. Yep. Drive uh, out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we actually just sold at Wolf's Flea Market this morning. Yeah. Oh, cool. We got there at three, at three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the more expensive shit there. So. How is it selling over there? Uh, it was good. I think I, I, think I made 1500 Nice. Yeah, it was. I think it's, it's growing. So. Uh, well, I don't hit Chicago. I think it's too much competition. But, um... Pretty on tap where I'm at, so. Nice. You got it all to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> For the most Bunch part. Bunch of old people fighting over underwear. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to get a Dudley boys. See if they see if you guys have any. I'm gonna go downstairs, look for some bull seas. That's what I mainly collect. I'm from Indiana. Uh, I've met a lot of good guys. Um, we're all good to each other. We're not cutthroat at the bins or anything. It's a good time. I got that one from you guys in LA. Really? Yes, sir. That's cool. Probably just these two for right now. For sure. Um, just be store credit if you wanted it. How much? Um, 20 each. 20 each. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely go around. around let me know. Sure. Chicago Marathon. New Balance. ICP. Big Money Hustlers. Their movie. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, it's like baller blocking kind of, but with clowns. Same vibes. I might get crucified for saying that, but it's all the same to me. State property is the best uh, rap-related straight-to-DVD movie. What's up, y'all? Bro, what? Good pieces. I done found a new shop. I'm about to we in here every weekend, all day, every day. I ain't gonna lie. That Tasmania OG shirt. And then they got a big pun shirt over there. Look fresh out the box. I don't even know where they got that from. Y'all going deep sea diving for something. <laughs> I'll trade some stuff in, yeah, for the polo. Plus some Nike teams. Excuse me for store credit? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, do you like 60 credit for the three? 60 credit for the three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we do that. Cool. Madison, Wisconsin. Man, just anything like old Ralph Lauren, I really like. So I got this one in New York City. Uh, nah, for real, bro. Like, y'all have one of New York. East Coast, West Coast, glad y'all yeah, finally got that midpoint. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Here, you flex it, G. This is, this is your piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta go with this, bro. <laughs> Happy to see it to go to a good home. Official merch, license, big pun. Tags on it still, 2005. That good airbrush. Look at him. Check out the vintage. Y'all got the heat here. Did you see this? How often do you find shit like this? You don't. So, you see what I mean? Look at this. Snake skin? No. Oh, maybe, yeah, look at that. Found this Mickey Mouse tee, kind of like the number nine. I don't know. And I'm just really into the, like, alien, like, artwork illustrations, so kind of cool, I guess. The distressing is so crazy on Oh, it has Literally on his eye. Yeah. This was on a heavyweight. Okay. Sure, yeah, let's do it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I actually work at RSVP on the block. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Good so deal. First time. Brought a bag of goodies that are downstairs for you guys. It's <laughs> first dips, though, so you gotta move quickly. But um, yeah, I'll grab those two. Awesome. Sure. Sure. It's beautiful. This used to be um, like a Hawaiian restaurant, I think. So it's really interesting to see the transformation. Beautiful space, yeah. People are super excited about it. Seeing everyone walking up and down the streets with like all the uh, bags and everything. So it's cool. Good addition to the neighborhood. Vintage free shirt, Trump blue. <laughs> really good Jerry all over. Right? Is that a Jerry Jasper? I got that on the way over. Oh, damn, awesome. really? Yeah. The colors. Why is it like a flea or something? Or at a thrift? Damn, that's fire. Did you want cash or credit on everything? Uh, cash. Okay. Might just take the bull shirt for right now. It'd be like 30 cash or 50 credit. I'm cool with cash. Cool. Yeah, for real. Just stopped at a thrift on the way up here. $3.99. I like just ripped the tag off in the car before walking in here. I, uh, I make clothes too, so this is my brand. Skull Crushers. But um, yeah, based out of Chicago. Like as a young kid going to Manhattan, New York City, you had New York, 
the dark motherfucker, it ain't Kansas with a revolver, a six shooter. And this is the Chicago version of it. My parents won't let me get the New York duck motherfucker. And I work in the entertainment industry, and that new, that t-shirt still floats around. It's worth a lot of money. And this is the Chicago version, so it's pretty cool. Now, obviously, in Chicago, a lot of lead flies, so there's history with that. And, uh, that's that. That's what I got to say about that, I guess. Just tell them you need the environmental one in yellow. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Yep. All the Mercedes stuff, the crew necks are almost out. The tan pants are almost out. You got the crew neck. Lit. Sweater pretty good? Hell yeah, dude. And I want that shirt too. This one is open. So yeah, it's nice back here. It's like cozy. I like it. So a little less chaotic than out there, but. Really fresh. Wear that with a nice pencil skirt to work. Guess Farmer's Market hoodie 2X. Some Shadow Ones. I've been wanting them for a while. I always said I was going to wait till round two to get them, so now that you guys are here. I seen it on Sean, so I was like, yeah. I definitely had to because it was all colorful and everything. I'd never seen anything like that, so he, my brother got the same one. Same thing. Had to. Finally threw it after how many hours it's been? Like seven, eight hours almost. It's been a crazy day, man. Crazy, crazy day. But we got through it today, man. So shout out round two, man. We're doing it. Chicago, baby. It's the right time. Boy, crazy day today. Yes. You know, a lot of people showed up. Gang, gang. It ain't over yet, though. We still got tomorrow. Still the got next tomorrow. day. Make sure you look at the page. Make sure you check the page. We drop items it. every day, every second. So I guess just a Looney Tunes shirt, vintage, with the fake pocket. And then just got four different characters. I'm going to Disney probably later this year, so I thought, you know, might as well pick out a Disney t-shirt, you know, keep with the theme. Right here is a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. I got an eight month year old son at home, so I can't just be shopping for myself. You know, I gotta get for my son. So I gotta start him young with the vintage stuff and then move him up to the hype and everything else after that. This is the OG one with the chair. Cause the sweaty one had a couple little accessories my son wasn't gonna be able to use. So I got him the chair so he could beat the Power Ranger up with it. See, back in the day, my mom didn't let me watch Jurassic Park when I was growing up. So I had to sneak into my brother then and watch it with him cause he was older than me. So, you know, I definitely had to get the vintage Jurassic Park. For sure. Well, today I got the Men in Black, I got the Will Smith. I've been a fan of the movies since I was little. Cannot forget Men in Black, two, three, to this day. This movies are on point. I came for the guests, but ultimately that's the bad boy right there. Man. Apple one. So I work for Apple. It's one of those things where I'm trying to look out for those two collections right over there, but this is definitely one. So this is the Mac OS operating system. Yeah, old time logo, definitely a lot older. Upgraded, but totally vintage, you know man. Wait, love it. Months? So I got the tote bag. Got all the guys to sign it. The round two American flag. Got the vintage Bears tee on a Salem tag. You know, I had to go with it. Huge Bulls fan, man. I had to go with the vintage Bulls tee right here. Can't miss. Only can find it at round two. We're going to a Bears game tomorrow, so I figured it was the perfect time to get something like this. I need these. One fifty. This is the best price. This is a must. Me and my stunt double. You ever seen Karate Kid? Same, same type of thing. Same kind of thing. We were uh, practicing catching flies with chopsticks, but uh, you went to the other room, so all the flies following you around uh, left. Yeah, the line, we finally just finished the line. There was like a line to check out, like to the door all day, and we finally just got through it. Can you guys less talk more work? Um, we're paying you salary here. Uh, there's nothing to do. I mean, dude, there's always something to do, man. Let's put, let's put them pants hanging. You should be here nipples. talking to Luke. This guy's gonna get you in a bad I'm direction here. Them. Around you ever seen Karate Kid? I don't care about you dang Karate Kid. Bro. I don't know. Sean's Cobra Kai for sure. I'm about to crane kick his ass. <laughs> back to back to Indiana. Yeah. Aren't you from Gary, Indiana? We're just about to hook your cheek in here and rip it. Sean's from the Midwest. He's from Indiana. Uh, Little known fact, grew up in Southside Gary, Indiana. I've been watching this show on the Smithsonian Channel that's like uh, like aerial footage of cities, and they just talk about them. Do you think they're using a like helicopter or a drone? You know, I just know from firsthand experience that drones aren't that sturdy, so I would imagine they use a helicopter. Season 3, episode 12, Graham bought this 
piece of junk drone, and guess what? It fell into the pool because it didn't even have propeller blades to propel itself. I don't know what happened to it, but Graham broke it, and we had to pay for it. I, and it like, exploded and fell in the pool. <laughs> Only three crewnecks left of the Mercedes crewnecks. They're going fast. They're flying. Day Best one. seller of the day, by far. Yeah. Much love. Thank you, Chicago. They saluted. <laughs> it's all embarrassed now. <laughs> yeah, definitely cut that one out. Nah, <laughs> Graham's gonna put that in because uh, it was sweet after. He's gotta put it in. It's cool. We'll use it. That's cool. We'll use that. You want me to talk about Taser Design? Bear's Taser? Taser, the man who helped put this whole place together. Bear's Taser over here. He elevated every idea we had. It was great. And now it looks like this. My favorite part of the store, my goodness. All of it, but my favorite items are the, the middle racks. Those came out really good. Uh, this was different in the way that I had more creative freedom. We kind of did whatever we wanted all together. We collaborated on ideas and uh, the result is amazing. So it's an awesome experience. Curtains. Curtains, 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 curtains. All right, Dominic, have a good night. Get some sleep, all right? It's a long day. Uh, all right, everybody. <laughs> Uh, great first day, everyone. Yo, you guys fucking killed it. Straight that was up. crazy. Yeah, no, that was so sick. Clap it up! Clap it up! Yeah, that was like one of our best openings ever. It was so it was smooth. super smooth. Like everyone fucking murdered that shit. Everything went well. Yeah, you guys were working hard as shit. Like Everybody been worked here together. For it was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It honestly felt really good. It was. I'm like stoked. Usually we're like right here, we're like all right, this, this, and this. First off. Customer. So I just want to know if there's any feedback that you guys got that maybe could help us moving forward. Everybody can pick three round two items, whatever you want, and then there's is a good the start. There's a starting shit to wear too. Though. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a starting one. Yeah. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Any, so any it could be three down jackets if you want. Yeah. yeah. Can we get that today? Yeah, go do your thing. Go right now. Go. Just try to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're all going for the yeah. same yeah. thing. There's so many people. If anything's fucked up, nobody's getting anything. <laughs> it's all gonna be torn apart. They'll learn. A month in, they'll learn. Yeah. The tough get the best stuff. Appreciate you, round two. The only thing. I'm gonna resell the round two merch. They're going crazy out here. Crazy. The last one? He's trying to resell the shit he got for free. Damn. That's the jacket. Pretty boy. I found the last one. What's up, bro? It survived. It survived. It's coming home with me, though. Some pants and a jacket. And I'm still getting more stuff, so I'm not sure. Let's get it, baby. All right. Want to see what's in the box? Hey, yo, bro. Why do you keep filming me? Get, 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 get. Leave, leave. Yo, we're about to take a big squad pick. <laughs> Goofy! Alright, everybody, guys, can we do one where we all try to jump? Oh! Oh, he's switching up. Two, three, jump! Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yo! Like, they were on the floor, like, what the? Oh, that's fire. That's it! That's the one! Is there a group text with all this? Yeah, we have a group text. What's it called? I'm not doing it. There's two different ones. Yeah. Oh, this thing is separate. He's like, what the? Looks like no one's getting the picture. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, See you, Graham. How's it going? Guys, oh shit, it's raining. Yeah. See you, Graham. Good night. Take care. Love you. Get out. Peace out, Graham. Get out. Bye, Graham. Get out. Been real, Graham. But I don't have you. Yeah, give me it. Alright, hold on. In the bag. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Round two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Peace out, Graham. Peace out. Shy Town, day one. Wait, Graham, I remember now. It's coming back to me. Why? Austin was attacking me, and you didn't do anything to help. Why didn't you help me? He could have killed me.
Reds, 2016. They ran up for like 300 yesterday. Hopefully they still there. You know, try that luck today. Hey, just browsing, just in the area. Come up from uh, the Bay Area, so just checking it out, seeing what it's all about. From San Francisco, I'm just looking for some vintage tees. Yeah, we're just coming down from Oceanside to yeah. check some stuff out. Yeah, there. we got the burner phone right here. I'm trying to see if I can get like, a little bit of store credit for this or something. Uh, I just drove down from SF to check out Kanye and I want to check out round two uh, for him. We hit Complex Night yesterday. Now we we're checking out round two. Uh, offset was like two feet away from us. Oh, uh, a little uh, yeah, smoke curve. Uh, Tree for Neil. Uh, a lot of celebrities. A lot of people here. Yeah. You know, you're trying to sell these rookies. And uh, see if I can sell these or use them as trade for uh, not for resale shoes if they have any in my size. Trade in for the Shadow Ones. I stay in um, the Valley. Him, 30 minute drive. Not, like, not too far. I'm just here to look around. <laughs> yeah. um, came up here from Orange County. Big fan of what you guys do. I come down here every weekend. Um, trades, buy, sell, whatever. Um, you guys are like family to me, so. City Dump Vintage on IG. Shoot me a follow. Oh my god! Yo! Holy shit! Damn! Just in fucking time! Wow. That's the craziest shit that's ever happened. Well, it's a mistake that ended up being fucking sick. I have all this goddamn dead stock Supreme stuff that I saved for the Chicago store. I come back to the LA store, we're super low on Supreme, and so I'm cleaning up the back room so it doesn't look terrible on camera. I'm just pulling bags down that I think have mismatched sneakers in them that are just trash. Open this goddamn one up and it's all this dead stock Supreme. Oh my god. I'm so fucking hyped. It's like everything you guys needed. Yo, Swarovski box logo hoodie. Just fucking chilling. It's like fucking Christmas over here. Boom. Complex Con weekend. Found two bags of fucking tons of something. I'm so hyped right now. Wow. 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 So hyped. Wow. How good! Oh, so good. She's on one. Dude. Oh my god, this is CG box logo key. Dude, this is. Yo, it's fucking Christmas in here, Ryan. I don't know if you heard. Uh-oh, what happened? Just found all the dead stock Supreme that I had. Did you? Yeah. At the crib? No, nah, dude, it was just in the bag. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. in bags up, up top. I guess I meant to send it to well, Chicago a while ago. I love these, uh, I love these bike jerseys. Feels good to be back, though, back in L.A. Feels good to have Graham back in L.A. with the camera on her shoulder. It's nice. We should, we should go tour around a little bit. There's all kinds of dope stuff in here. Nah, it's dope. There's all kinds of cool shit coming out from everyone right now. Just, boom, these Dior joints. Spooky, spooky. Travis, looking good, dude. Looking like you're gonna hit the slopes. Yo, this is an OG round two piece right here. That lightweight windbreaker. Just the arm hit. Real good piece, real good piece. We got tons of guests in this, in this mug. Now we got a lot of guests. Yo, Mike. Yeah. I found all this fucking Supreme, dude. Oh. These were in those two big white bags on top of the fucking racks. What? The city? Yes. So, oh. let's get this shit out this morning, right? Okay. Okay. The IG looks fire in this store. I think we can, I think we can all agree. Gotta let the people know what sizes we have. Oh. Clays, Citrons, Lundmarks, you know. Yeah, the, um, what the LA Air Force ones. Before the drop, it was they were up like 650, 600, depending on the size. Now it's more so like 250 to like 450. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. What's the best selling shoe right now? I'm curious. The best selling shoe? Um, by default, just because they came out so recently, it's been the Shatter Backboard 3.0. Um, a lot of people, a lot of size swaps, a lot of people just buying them straight up. It's kind of like an affordable shoe. It's only like 300, 325, so those have been moving well for us. Surprisingly, a lot of people are cashing out on Travis Scott's too. Like, um, typically like with the higher ticket items, people bring in a lot of trades and stuff, but with these, like we've, had, we've been selling them. Like people have just been paying cash, paying card for them, so. Sakai's, so Sakai's so are still like a steady mover for us. A lot of people coming in for like the white ones specifically. Uh, the Barney colorway too, that one's a good one. And the Blazers. Though. I'm surprised that these move so fast because they're such a crazy and busy shoe, but 
It's a good one, too. How are you? Um, welcome back. It's been a long time. Uh, missed you a lot, and uh, we've missed you a lot. Stores changed a lot, as you can see now. We uh, put skateboards right here with the shoes work, and well, that's pretty much it. But I mean, this has changed a lot, um, regardless. And uh, you know, we're here. It's a little bit hot and cold, so we do shorts, but then we have a flannel in case it gets cold. And then if it gets hot, we have a white t-shirt on. It gets tricky out here. I won't lie, I don't I don't know too much going on with ComplexCon other than Sean's talking on the panel. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm kind of excited to see what people are bringing in. Hopefully somebody brings us in the Murakami Ben Baller chain for like $200,000. Just kidding, just kidding. Nobody brings us in that chain. Uh, but I know it's going to be a busy ass weekend, so we're all excited for that. I've been looking for the shirt for like ever. And I was just talking. That's a fact. I came all the way from Brooklyn for the shirt at this point. Yeah. Fire spot. Hell yeah. I've been watching Dragon Ball Z since forever. And shout out to my son Boz. He works that round too in New York. So shout out to my son Boz. <laughs> yeah, I just cop some like some Velvet Supreme shorts, and then had to get my girlfriend something. So I just cop her some Cloud White Yeezys in a size four. There, some light. Uh, now we're visiting from the Bay. Yeah, so quick little trip. You know, we were supposed to, but then um, we just thought we'd go to Disneyland instead. I mean, we'll probably go to Complex next year, something like that. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm Chauncey Jones, representing Oakland, California. You know what I'm saying? I fuck around too since the beginning. Yeah, I started out in VA. I was living out there, so that when you opened up that one, I was out there. Then I moved back to New York, where I'm originally from, and I've been to that one, and now I'm in LA, so it's the third one. The first one, skeletons. Skating around, checking out shops, um, concert tonight. Cactus plants, Vapor Max. I haven't really got too many big sizes in, so it was a 14 women, 12 and a half men's, and um, I think the friends and family, they lit up. Yeah. I didn't see, I never got to see them, but. Yeah. Awesome, man, we appreciate you, dude. Awesome. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we're just looking around for, you know, we came all the way from Ohio, so. Um, we're actually out here for Complex Con. Our buddy Puck is doing Complex Con, he has a booth, so shout out to Puck. I've been following around, too, since, like, the Virginia store, like, the whole in all store. It's, like, pretty cool to see everything that like they've done and I'll definitely be at the booth. Did you have prices in mind for some of the stuff that you brought by? No, um, just looking for some offers. So oh, I don't care. So Hold off on that. I'll be at 360 cash right here or 420 so credit. Can you do 420? Probably do like 380 cash if you want. I'll be on the higher end. For the I'll go for it. Cool. Give me one second, right? Yeah, I'm grabbing the couch. I'm just looking for some money, you know. I'm just tired of looking at all this stuff in my closet. <laughs> okay, thank you, Doc. Do you need this bag or are you good? Thank you, Doc. Yo, Graham, let me take a picture of you. Let us know if you guys have any questions. This will do. Hey, you got Manny's in the background looking all funky. Oh, Probably like 375 cash, maybe like 425 so far. Okay. So I was with the LA Air Forces. I uh, picked them up at Foot Locker and got one of them off of the um, little wrap that they do. They're cool, but I'm not, I don't really wear Air Forces. Just double count that for me, please. Thank you. Three. Thank you, Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah. Straight out of Nike. They're clean, but Complex Con is tomorrow and I'm heading out there, so kind of want some extra cash. Well, it's like supposed to present like some teams. Oh, the okay. basketball, like the LA colorways and stuff like that. So, 130? Yeah. And I just got 230 cash. So. Thank, you, Thank you, man. What? How you doing, Nick? Were you looking for cash or store credit? Uh, cash. Possibly. Perfect. Uh, did you have a price in mind for you of these? Um, I was thinking 300 for the other spoons. 200 for these. So you said two and three? Yeah. These come with the laces over here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably like 400 cash if you want. Three each, four. All together? No, nah, I'll do 400 oh, cash just on these. Okay. And you'll pass on these. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. You wanna do that? Yeah. One second. I'll do it. 
They're my girlfriends. She's only worn them like four or five times. She's ready to let him go. She got them from StockX, I think like the day they came out. And uh, we still have everything with them too. I was thinking 300 for him, but 400. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good one. I just thought it was just too cheap. Three? I gave him four. Um, we're still gonna price them like at six, six fifty. And they'll probably go pretty quick. Size six. They're clean too. Brand new with box nowadays is probably in the twelve range, realistically. A thousand to twelve range. I mean, and we don't have any pairs in here. Anytime we do get them, they'll stick. They'll stick around for maybe four days to like a week, realistically. So I mean, we're always excited to see these. Yeah, I'd be seven five. And what about that guy? This one? Yeah. I don't know. Did you have a price in mind? Mm. Would you be able to do four? Probably a little bit higher than I want to pay realistically. I'd want to price <coughs> it like around three fifty. So I'd be at like maybe like two forty cash, maybe like two eighty store credit. I'll think about this one, but no worries. I got you on this. I'll go ahead and do that one. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, two bags from the IKEA drop today. One was 20 and one was 25. Oh, for sure, man. Thank you. Yo. Thank you. I'm really bad trying to Oh, please. Got 75 out of it, so not too bad. I think I'm going to hold off right now on the carpet just because it's released today. So this is the wet grass one. So there was this one. There was a big one with the receipt. But what surprisingly, the Mona Lisa was the one that was like less item or less uh, amount but dude people were going crazy for it at ikea we were there from like five in the morning and then we didn't we weren't able to purchase till like 10. well the thing the what's funny is that we were in line and we we're getting closer to the door and some guy parks and then he gets to the front and he's like is this the line for breakfast <laughs> and we're like no nah, dude like we're here for some carpets or some rugs he was like oh, okay like you know <laughs> but yeah man thank you you have a good one new cactus plant joints pretty fire a little baggy but i like them the convertibles, pants in the front, shorts in the back. <laughs> party in the front, party in the back too, whatever. Oh, this is actually looking really fucking tough to put together. Yeah, but it's looking difficult actually. Yeah, I don't know, usually these are really easy to put together. Just like, just like walking. You look like you was like... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, is it windy out? <laughs> Got a gift. How sick is that? So much better in here than that other store. Yeah, kids for poster. <laughs> Dope. Love that. Got a bag of stuff from the I love you. He's actually really sick. This was a cheap one. Yo! I nice little come up from the flea. Hey, didn't we? This thing is sick. I might need. This is from Chicago. Future uh, round two store inspiration. Oh, some kid gave this to me. Some dude who's been fast. Fresh vintage, that's what it will make you do, sneeze. Can we, can that's how you know it's good vintage. Can we showcase Adam's crass oh, yeah. hoodie? Courtesy of uh, Ruben right here. It shows that there's still a little bit of punk left in it. Yeah, that. it's a really good one too. Yeah. It's too much, man. Dinosaur Junior stuff's always cool. It is, man. It's an addiction. But I do have some cool T-shirts. You know what I mean? So. We're looking for cash. Probably sword yeah. Are These all like personal pieces, or are you kind of just like collecting? Um. Yeah, just thinning out the stash. Okay. I think everybody that is in a vintage kind of has that problem. You, know? <laughs> you get one too many grails. <laughs> so for these guys, um, store credit rise, I'd probably be at like 120 on the Allison Chains, 100 on the Bowie, and the 3D I would do like 80 store credit. That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, so Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that back print is beautiful. You can't reproduce that kind of wear, man. 
We're gonna work something out for this. Urbanity. Sixteen seventy-five is it? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Well, thank you guys. Okay. Support your local round too. Thank you. Have a good one. Back streets, back dog. This is the best part of the shirt, bro. Sorry for my man's hair. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The Sakura joint is straight butter. Shit, I don't even see this. Yo, there's like too much shit. Like, I could spend hours in here. The Tiger Woods joint. Bro, six is up there right above the Oh, gee. Yeah. It was dope meeting all you guys, man. This place is awesome. So. Blink 182. Pretty hyped on it. Yeah, it's from their first album. Good memories. Warp Tour when I saw him. I had the shirt, I like wore it out. What year was that? That was when Eminem was passing out like demo tapes. Oh, wow. That's yeah, sick. so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Classic. I'll see you in the bag. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, bro. He's a real asshole now. I'm not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, second outfit that you're going to see me in today. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there's one more to go. We'll flash to that in the next scene. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a good one because I'm just building it up. Not much, man. Been at a round two shop down in Miami, representing, you know. Out here for Complex Con Week, you know what I mean? Of course, had to come check out round two. You know what I mean? Um, Whatever exclusive shit they have over there, man. Of whatever course. we can find, bro. Of course, if round two got a booth, we gotta check them out. Yeah, of course. Always. Exactly. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of small. It's, it's a large, but it literally my whole bloody belly button would be shy, yeah, you know? So I small. had to pass up on that, yeah. yeah. See, this is what I mean by a crop top. That's a large, but I'm not getting into that. The last year or two, it's become a bit of a thing, isn't it? Like vintage wrestling t-shirts, but majority of mine are from when I was literally at the time. And I used to be fat, so they still fit me now, from like the 90s and that, so it suits me. But yeah, I'm, gu I'm gutted about this one, man. I am gutted about this one. This is literally like top five, I think, top five. I wanted to comment on it, like WrestleMania 13, just like people know. It's like... Uh, Con, all the stuff they got there as well. I'm actually there. I'm working the Fool's Gold uh, booth, so we're gonna be like doing like selling T-shirts there. So hopefully, I'll, yeah. So hopefully, I'll have some time off to go to the Chalk Climb booth. I want to meet uh, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that'll be cool. They set it out this morning, and it's got all the Nitro, like the Titan Tron with all the old WCW Nitro stuff. That's enough to make me want to go. <laughs> Shout out Costa Rica, yeah. You like this bag? I use all the pockets too, like I got shit in every pocket. Alright, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say peace to him real quick and then we can go in. Peace. <laughs> Welcome to the round two Ultra Game booth at Complex Con. We got our officially licensed Lakers and Raiders gear. Ultra Game set up the real dope booth. I don't know, it's pretty sick, honestly, I'm hyped. Here we go. All right, from downtown. Should have went in. I got robbed by that double ramp, you know. Yeah. It's already got a great reaction, great turnout. It's amazing out here. I'm blessed with the opportunity to work with Sean on this, and hopefully everyone feels the close. Like we definitely did a great job. I think like it's very immersive. The bedroom you always wanted, you know? Round two blow charter. Whoa! That's the one, yo. I'm so happy someone saw that. I've been missing them all day, yo. Woo! Be sure to check that one out. These are the round two collab ones. Not worth it. We're about to go see Cuddy in a couple hours. We got the Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers, NFL, round two, only at Complex Con. Lots of rappers, I saw Offset earlier, so that was real cool. I know Liliati's supposed to come uh, later today. I'm like, 
like, uh, like, is this... I haven't actually even gotten to see a lot of them completed, so I was hyped on this. The cat jacket with the dog. Yo, this one was sick. The Mickey. Yeah, yeah, so I went through and, like, picked all these, like, flannels and stuff, and then went over to Chinatown, and we, like, customized them up. It was so cool seeing this, like, print on flannel. Yo. See, I, like, placed them all together, and then they finished them another day, so I didn't get to see them completed yet. Call me. Thanks. This one was dope, dude. Round two, Chinatown. Nice, simple piece. Yo, this one was fire. Oh, this one was good, too. So vintage looking. It was really sick. I want this one, dude. I want to wear this right now. Oh, this one is called cool. Dew Piece. <laughs> the gardening. More dogs. You and I. This is the number for round two if you type it in a phone with the numbers. You get what I'm saying? Old school. You know? So if you had to text round two back in the day, this is what you'd have to type in for each letter. My phone actually doesn't work, but I'm going to act like I'm talking to it Can we actually it connect it to the audio through your camera? That'd be nice. Yeah, if you could let us hook this up, it would be great. Yeah, right, right. There's actually an outlet. <laughs> yeah. well, what's your yeah. favorite piece? Man, I'm wearing my favorite one. Oh, I had to snag it before the show. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank you guys. Peace. I was watching the fucking David Shank show. Dude. Yeah, right. I was loving it. Yeah. So oh, sick. Yeah, like Bernie food. Yeah, oh yeah, that's just sick. The kids part? Yeah, come through. I want to give him a basketball. Oh, sick. Okay, so, gotcha. Gotcha. No, I saw the photo right there in the background. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a little customization here at Puma. We got the little hidden secrets in our booth, and our favorite guy here, Graham. We love him forever. <laughs> nah, man. I was back home. Whoa, what? No way. I was just telling her I took after you with the stash. We're at the Chalk Line booth, helping out with uh, my buddy Kurt's brand. Yes, yeah, so they do like the, the Fanimation style jackets. They're actually going to have Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, and Kevin Nash doing a little meet and greet here at 1 o'clock, so I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be sick. So yeah, we got uh, the Chalk Line booth right here. We got wrestling for sales and a bunch of vintage stuff. We did a whole collection for uh, the Outsiders, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, they're coming by. So we did a bunch of like, based off of his entrance gear, uh, Red to Remote and Scott Hall. This is a reversible one. And uh, this is based off like his trunks, the razor blades all over, it's pretty hard and it's reversible. And this is based off like the old like uh, Baroque bomber jackets in the 80s. It's really giving me a lot of reins for the creative control, which is like, that's the fucking coolest part, because I have such a like, passion for the original brand, and you know, it's easy to like, get lost and just like try to water it down. So I try my best to, to keep it that way, and uh, he lets me do it. Yeah. This one's dope. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long time no see, man. <laughs> Browsing around, seeing what I'm scouting for Complex Con 2020, the Crenshaw Escape. Uh, right now, we're in like the new Blocks hoodie I just released. The latest collab, I just did the round two collab a few, uh, a few months ago. That went really good. Uh, yeah, that's it. I got some stuff in the works. Coming soon, you'll see that. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're killing it. Oh my god. Sean loves the kids. I wasn't gonna do it, but since you asked, I mean, you did ask. You guys can me on that one now. I'll just show you a little something real quick. <laughs> three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's only three of them in the world. Official. From him himself. I wasn't gonna do it, but you asked. He asked about it. I didn't wanna throw it to him. <laughs> he asked me to throw it to him. So I did it. It's a great under underwear piece. Just the plain ones. Hey, I. These are the vibe, bro. Are they different colors? 
With a tea, a tea under? With some sweats like that? I fuck this shit, man. Sneaker of the year. Yeah. I'm excited, man. Sneaker of the year panel complex con. They finally, uh, my, they finally value my opinion. You know, this is hard too, Ike. Uh, no, man, we're gonna wing it. You know, I'm gonna look at people's feet as I walk up to the stage and I'm gonna pick that way. It's kind of cool. Chill. No? You a whistle on your neck, you wear them. With some sweats? I got some chill shit. Not like I'm swagging, ooh, I'm too fly. Like red sweats. You don't see the vision, bro, so I don't expect you to always see it. Hey man, this shit suck, man. I don't, it don't suck, you don't like it. You right. What, I don't like it, most yeah. likely it sucks. With some sweats. On some chill shit, red sweats. Yeah. You see the vision. He said I look like I needed a whistle around my neck. <laughs> yeah, that's a coach look. That's <laughs> not a coach look. <laughs> nah, definitely a coach look. But ain't nothing wrong with a coach look. Who do you remind you of? Yeah. These shoes suck. So whoever designed them, try again. What the LA's? That ain't number. That just number <laughs> one made oh, treat. That's all that is. Nah, that shoe sucks. That's a treat. This is a terrible shoe. Oh yeah, now you know this is sneaker of the year last year. It was. You know what that means? I just want to say I don't know if I ever got the credit for this, but I did help boost the the votes on his poll. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know if you ever said anything about it, but I definitely was uh, campaigning this shoe. I don't know. Whatever. I know. Ooh, high school. Yeah, for sure. Easy B. Good copy. That's all. That's all that is. You know, almost got a size too big. Talking to you. It's all good. We're gonna go back and we're gonna retrace our steps and get us a large. What the fuck you smoking? Ooh, you take a big hot hit. Look how big you do. Look at him. Look at him. Ooh. <laughs> That nigga said shit. <laughs> hey, kids, stay in school. Seriously. I think man hit you two seconds. Sweet. I got a deal. I don't know how I'm gonna get on the plane, but we deal with that when it's time to get on the plane. I guess just like I got everything else big I got from your home. I walk with it on my back. <laughs> Across the United States, back to sweet Georgia. Yep. I know I've seen a lot of you guys honking on me on my trails. Yeah. So I got such strong calves. Sure. Fuck, Sean just tagged me. I just called Sean. Nigga didn't even answer my phone call. You gonna tag me on Instagram? No, we flew out here for that, so we decided, you know, we might as well take out Melrose, take out Fairfax. Bro, the Mitchell and Ness, that Nick, they doing like a Lakers, Murakami, gotta try to get those yeah. shots. Whenever we come to Palm Beach, uh, check out Headache too, I do videos there too on my channel, and Gary we trust. Yeah, Headache is kind of like our version of round two, and it's really cool to kind of see it, of course, on a bigger scale. But, uh, yeah, you guys. We got cool. our own clothing brand at Icon Vision. We got some sweats coming out soon. So. How you doing, dude? Chilling, brother. How are you? Chilling, you know. Outfit number three, baby. I told you. Don't play me. It's the same day. Ninety-four is clean. With the box. A good box too. Hey, thank you. Size 11, size 12. You'd be like 550 cash, like 650 store credit. And these guys would be like another like 850, 850 store credit. 850 store credit? Yeah, 850 or 9 if you want. I'll work some with you. Yeah, let me, let me see. Let me know, please. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Would you trade everything, including my store credit, for three pairs of Travis's? I don't trade the store credit. Yeah. And this, I got this from next door. For the Jay-Z shirt. 
Fire. The first retro was here. They sat on shelves back then. So they were cheaper. You see 79. They were very cheap, but now retros are popular, so they're like quadrupled in value. What size Travis did you get from Do you want these three? These three? I thought it was another one. There's a pair up there, but it has no box. What size are those? Eight and a half. Yeah, I'll just take the 10 fit this and this. Those? So you'd have six fifty remaining. Are they both for you? Or? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's like one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one to stash and one to keep for myself. Yeah, yeah, pretty good deals or whatever. I'm a regular, so try to bring some rare try to bring rare stuff though. We sold a brand new 94 Chicago, maybe like two weeks ago that he brought in. We sold it for 1800 like in less than five days. But brand new with boxing and everything. It's kind of crazy seeing it like that. Like it was just white, pristine, pristine condition. For cash or store credit today? Um, cash. Cool. Yeah. How's your day going so far? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. How about yours? Good, yeah. Chilling. Size like 10. Brandy? And you got a uh, price in mind for these guys? Um, for these probably like seven hundred. What about the uh, sixes? Um, the sixes probably like nine hundred. I'd be like six fifty cash right here or seven fifty store credit. I'd hold off on these right now. Be a little bit too high for us. Uh, what are you guys looking for in these? Just kind of. I mean, maybe like nine store credit. I'm doing cash for uh, okay. Uh, can you do six seventy five for these? That's fine. Yeah. Give me a second. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now I kind of um, like we're looking to travel for December, so I just kind of had to let them go. I wanted, I really wanted to keep these. It's all good. They're really nice shoes, to be honest. Still, I mean, paid like one sixty for them, so six seventy five, seventy five, six hundred. Alright, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Doug. Have a good one. You. Have a good one. Supreme, and then tomorrow complex come. We're gonna do the same sweep today. That we're going to do tomorrow, Compass Come, bring all the heat back to PR. That's it. Alright, um, I'll look around and I'll let you know. Yeah. Before you get out of the room. This no, is uh, a rim. Our rim, rim coming. Yeah, they're uh, uh, really expensive. The, actually, rims, the rims, what, rims go for like 20, 20 something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> At Complex Come, they had like a 911 Turbo S. Really? That had, yeah, that had the rims on it. No way. Yeah, it was actually sick. <laughs> Bryce Waller, uh, co-founder of Blondie Beach Records, filming, uh, marketing guru at the hundreds. Back again, 2019 Complex Con, gonna do a little touring for you. You met Toby, Fresh Off Skate Club, filming, let's go. This one is Uzumaki. Uzumaki is from New York. This thing where she covers everything in like fur and kind of makes, it reminds you of like the Dr. S Dr. Seuss and Rugrats meets fine art. Awesome, so we're out here at Complex Con with a very, very talented Uzumaki. Thanks for having us at your booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the concept and what's going on? I so um, I just created my first couture line. This the fur is like your very it's like your signature thing, right? Where did that start? That started uh, four years ago in Los Angeles. I fucked up on a painting, so I covered it with faux fur, and then the next day I made like a whole dining set, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. Okay, it was fire. random, but it came from a mistake. It's good to see you again. Always. Uh, let's head over to the Carrots booth on E16. They're like they're hand screen printing T-shirts. Oh wait, wait. Let's stop here really quick. This is Soto Gang. Soto Gang is an amazing tattoo artist. Just like a lot of really, really cool. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> I was about to come say hey. What's I'm good? sorry. Very it's a sexy. very sexy, um, fast and furious garage. That's the vibe. Right, this is this is hey. the this is, this is your main girl, right? <laughs> You get a blank Shockerware tee, and then you can you can get it customized right here, and like you do custom screen printing on it. Oh, real Crenshaw thing, man. How you gonna have a real Crenshaw thing? Ain't getting one. No, you gotta hit it. Gotta get it. I went to Supreme. Before I went to Tokyo, they didn't have me Supreme no more. Yeah, it's like so I'm out of here. I didn't even know. Selling hell, man. You know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm an old nigga. I don't know how to shop on the internet. Exactly. Uh, exactly. 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 That's the one. You know what too. this is. You know what this yeah, is. Yeah, I already know. That's the hood. <laughs> yeah, I got this shit. This shit. Right here. <laughs> South Central. <laughs> you know what I mean? How much? Uh, 20. You got cash at? Yo, it's carrots. Baby carrots. 
here at Individualist and Carrots, Complex Con. And what? Shout out round two. J305, call my name. Y'all trying to give $20 right now, man. I ain't even got $20. <laughs> trying to hey, you got $20 on your own? I, 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 I cash that. Yeah. You know he don't carry money. I'm saying real quick, y'all niggas, man. And next, we're gonna go visit Babylon, Los Angeles. Good friends of mine, good people. We're gonna check it out. Everything is good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shoes, man. Yeah. So, old 85. Huh? 85. Okay, I was like, yo, I was like, yo, Thanks, yo. Right here at Babylon, Los Angeles. Los Angeles based brand. Owned by the dudes that started the punk dance trash talk. Gary Stevenson and Lee Spielman. Um, Lee Spielman out here. What's up? Good, man. Yeah, Lee, can you tell us about the, can you tell us about the booth, man? It's, got, it's a collab with MQ, an artist that fucked with since I was a little kid. We just wanted to do something that, like, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like, shit that I saw when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Smashed in the trucks and shit. So this is like the MQ and then classic Babylon logo. <laughs> yeah, even less. It's like the whole. Oh, Graham, what's the deal? Hey, look, y'all ain't seen me in a minute. Round two, Gunnar Garcon, first season in LA, second season, whatever. Yo, man, look, we got, we got, a, we got him once early. We got hey. him once early. No, don't even just let him see. Just let him find out. You know what? Take us to your booth. Yeah, come on. Got you. My man, Errol Chatham. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's good, man. He pop it. He's doing all right, man. Just here. Viceland star, swim team captain of the fucking globe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why laughing? It's like, what is that? Oh, he's there. Hi. Hi, boys. Street X, Mexico and Australian meets. Okay. LA and Perth. This is very. Mexico meets Australia, huh? You see that? You see that shit? You see that shit? <laughs> so basically, we got? we've got Paisa Boys, the boys from LA, Street X, is Australia. Great Whites, that's that's natural in Australia. Twelve shark attacks in a year in Perth. Me and Great Whites, we talk together. You know what it is. Put it on a T-shirt as one. I just want to give a big welcome for, uh, to Joe Freshkas to Los Angeles from Chicago. Yes. You feel me? Yes. He's our uh, our new neighbor. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So man, we gotta bring up the conversation with the round two Chicago Joe Freshkas collab, man. In the future, maybe. Hey, you know what I mean? We you just called it. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, I'm very excited to have you in the city. You know, it's always that big thing about new stores moving in in the city. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think you guys did it the right way. It's a big, amazing store. Y'all picked the right neighborhood, so I'm excited. All right, we sure, need man. it. You know? Definitely, yeah. man. Pleasure, dog. No doubt. Thanks for having us. No doubt, bro. This is the the hundreds uh, Joe Freshkiss collab. All right, guys, I'm out. Free J Boozy, Justin, your favorite round two character. Uh, I hope you enjoy Sean's panel about the sneaker of the year. Um, we got Yachty over there. We got a uh, Aleli May. Being really great. I'm excited to see what they actually are gonna debate about because a lot of fucking heat has come out this last year. Please welcome Sean It's like been a fun year, right? I, I like the fact that it's a lot of uh, sneakers kind of being redefined this year. A lot of women coming yeah, out too. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sneaker number 10, the Nice Kicks Adidas Ultra Boost Tie-Dye. So, so this is what I would say. Wait, it's just number 10. Oh, Do people not buy this shoe? Every sneaker, this is what you're going to get. What? Well, they were cool two years ago, for sure. Yeah. What about this specific color? Nah, that, that color is big white. That looks like a shine white. That's a shine color. That's magic. Number nine. This, I feel like, if the Sakai's didn't drop, this would be a lot higher. Did you make this list? We, there was a, there was like yeah. a, there was a, the Nike Undercover Daybreaks. I, I thought they were gonna like go crazy on the whole resell. Oh, I can appreciate them, but they wouldn't have made a top ten. <laughs> they didn't make my closet either. Sneaker number eight, the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 in black. Did you see in your store did these like resell? Did a lot of? I don't think they resell like crazy. I know we got a lot of them. I go around to almost every. I thought they already dropped like years ago. I say it can't. Oh. Oh. Why can't this be the beginning of a new icon shoe? People really like the shoe. 
The number seven, New Balance times Ame, Me, and Gore, nine. I really love these. Color scheme, yeah. what do you think? That's great. Yeah. Great fan of the brand. Yeah. It's always kept it clean. Which one do you guys like, the Ame or the, or the Bodega one? Yeah. I like the Ame. Yeah. But they're both fire. The Nike Adapt, BB. Y'all must have made that shit. Yeah, I can't. Hold on, hold on. It like laces up, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the so Yeah, the Earl thing. Yeah, I can't really do them. No. Uh -huh. We're waiting. They ain't got no damn laces. <laughs> I don't wear sneakers without laces. Number five, Nike Off-White MCA Chicago Air Force One. Flames. Crazy. Fire. Yeah, there's no... seen a pair with the white paint all over them? Damien Hurst Sunday, right? Yeah, they go for yeah, 20 yeah. racks. Yeah. Cactus Plant Flea Market Nike Vapor Max. Oh, yeah. What a year. What a year for them. Let's go down. Yeah, Let's go down the line. I love it. I think their shit's fire. I don't really like Vapor Max too much, though. You guys love Vapor Max. This made me love Vapor Max. Right, right. Yeah. I think every collab that she's touched is just. No, it's all without question. Without question. And I wanted to touch the ones that light up so bad. I couldn't oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, I tried to rip yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Melrose upside down to find the light up pair. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Number two sneaker of the year. Travis Scott Jordan 1 High. Mm. I lost my mind when I saw it for the first time. The GRs are so perfect. To get it right is hard as shit. Like, you got it right. Is it criminal that the six isn't on this list? Yeah. Yes, that's a problem. So. Oh, the pizza ones, I saw these. These are insane. And you love pizza. I did see Good night, y'all. And you love pizza. I did see What are we talking about? You're crazy. I'm out of here. Out of here. Yeah, Alayla, what's your sneaker of the year? I would say Sakaira Cactus. I mean, anybody can wear anything with this. Let me ask, do you guys think it was a good year in sneakers, bad year? What brand do you think? That's people looking for hype, straight up. That's people who are looking for hype. If there wasn't enough hype this year for you, I'm sorry, but there are so many good shoes sitting in every store. You're wow. wow. I love that. So listen, three, I week, three weeks ago, I lost my shit behind a pair of Stan Smiths because the back of them said Stan Smith. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that feels good, man. All right, so, feels good so we're, at, we're at number one. It's been a long hour. Unanimous decision, which seems like we all agreed on it. Agreed. Number one shoe of the year, Nike Sakai Waffle. Look at it. <laughs> that colorway, the best one, I think. The double tongue is fire, too. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shoe's fire. Perfect. Without a doubt. Yeah. All right, another year of debate. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys for coming. Enjoy the rest of Complex Time. Thanks to the panel. Block, man. First thing they do when they come to LA, you know, you want to come to round two, you want to go to Melrose and just check it out. Man, big chilling. You already know what time it is, baby. Hey, guys, Thrift God bestowing blessings in this thing, man. Hey, we're live in LA from Houston to LA at round two. You guys know what time it is, baby. We're going to see if we can find some steals and deals live in the trenches. I already was at the vintage store. Bruh, they had that heat, man, sizzling, bruh. I feel like I was in the south, but we all the way in Cali on the west coast, best coast, finding grails, bruh. Let's get it. Yo, what's good? How are you? Bro, what's good, dog? Good to see you, yo. Glad nice I was able to run into you here. We go after. And anyone who can grab a piece like that and make it cool, that's dope in my humble opinion. That's why I pick up the weird, intricate, kind of unique items in this dope. Man, we love that shit. You know, oh, yeah. These beauties. I've been wanting for a while. And just picked out these as well. Yeah, we're from San Francisco. Yeah. Complex fun. Complex. It was good. It was good. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like the sneaker of the year top. Oh, the panel? Yeah. yeah the panel. With Sean. Sean was in it. I mean, I expected the waffles to be the number one, so it was great. Right. It was a great turnout. A lot of people there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That's my favorite. From Chicago. Literally. No, no, no. Supreme uh, MX 95s. 180. Yeah, Go back to the previous episodes of him. Of him on YouTube. Compared to now. <laughs> Ruin him. I was a good kid. Look at him now. Knows every lyric to any Gunner song. Stand, standing on top of BMWs. Standing on top of BMWs. <laughs>
I know you saw them. Yeah, you you got to have some. Dude, thanks. These are some of the Chinatown things. So I got like a bunch of vintage flannels and just um. Bro, that shit is gangster. Chinatown had like a bunch of shit. Like, just, Bro, as you can see, I'm flannel gang. Yeah, yeah, I really like the flannel yeah. shirt. I mean, that it's easy. They got it on. on the back too. Hey, these VVS. <laughs> Yo, this is VBS. Yo, you got the diamond Sheesh. tester? Bro, I wish. You got wish. the little thingy like, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Damn. What? what? He's like Ray J. I've been wearing this all day. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah, I have a media called Legendary Kicks, and there are some other medias here that we're like touring. Ah, uh, Legendary Kicks. This one. I really, really like this piece, and I really like the essence of the OG style, and the like. Uh, and the brand is so like uh, mystic, and it's really, really cool about that. Yesterday they had actually a, a raffle on Foot Locker, and I won the pair. <laughs> yeah, this one. I think I think they're cute. I mean, I like them. The main thing that I like is to get uh, along with some other people that like the same things, talking about the culture worldwide with different type of people and different from different countries. I think that's the best thing for me from Complex Times. But we try to tell the story behind every single silhouette. You know, that, that that's the Jordan from, this is the Jordan 3 from 1988. I have it right now and uh, when my baby girl is around 20 or something like that, it's gonna come out and she's gonna like it even as much as I do. So I think that's that's what power what's powerful from every single type of sneaker you can find in the store. Thank you, no, thank you bro. Thank, thank you for the interview bro. I see you follow me like this in a long time. Big time. He's gonna get it. You know it was a whole ninja before, right? Oh it was, it was either gonna be this. He was really just in the color guard. Or ninja. <laughs> uh, I chose this. This was easier. I'm not gonna lie. He was just in the color guard. <laughs> That's the end of the day, boys. Uh, you know, he's Dave was locking it. Uh, who, me? Get out of here! Get out of here! You're not getting none of that in my house. Hey, shake out the wheel again. Yeah, you saw it. Watch out, baby. That's a wrap. You saw the dust come out? Oh! oh! Big pop, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, between the legs. Mark up a sweat. I'm sweating. What? What? <laughs> it's the Yellow Ranger. You guys just set the fuck up. I took like a bunch of pictures. Yeah, so like. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Graham. I'm just, it's oh. all good. Um, all these memories. Graham, you're a dick. All these mem All these memories came flooding back. Fucking <laughs> southeast, bro. This is Luke tonight. Where? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what up? How are you? Hey. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, what do you think? Dude, this is you, dude. I was just it's mistreating little, the shit out of you. It's a little tall, but. <laughs> is this your idea, you Yeah. No, no it's perfect. actually really good. This is perfect. Like... <laughs> wow, you look good in there. I know, right? So, uh, dude, that bag looks good on you. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to dump it in the James River tonight. Oh, and then my he's going to float can up you to do New a, York. Can you do a little um thing that says, like, we removed this plastic from the river, yeah. Yeah. please? All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to grab it. I'll hold these. Yeah. Graham the murderer. Yeehaw! Are you doing anything? No, you're good. Are you doing anything? Just enjoying the beach, man. Start with that. Yeah. Give me more than that. That's bullshit. That's one I'm not, line. I'm out here in Chicago. How about you give me more than one line so I can That's what I'm saying! Shh! <laughs> oh, pissed. Memories are my memories are starting to come back. Feeling a little better. My memory's starting to come back, you know, bit by. I thought you were an actual helper when I was gonna be like, hey, you can grab all this stuff and bring it up. But no, no one's here to help. 
Should I take my shoes off? Yeah, thanks. Let's start. Yeah. It's called continuity grip. Thank you. Oh. I feel like Ace Ventura when he came out of the out of the womb. <laughs> New York. New York. Unique. I'm so nervous. 